Good morning. <laughs> Hold on. I'm ready to farm. Okay, we have a couple things to discuss today. First of all, I was maybe gonna play Paleo. Clearly I am not. I don't know. I didn't install it. I wasn't prepared. Cause I was too, I was gonna do it yesterday and then, well, I cried all day, so. <laughs> we'll get into it. Everything's fine. It's just, you know. So anyway, hi, good morning. We're going to farm. And actually, we're like this close to going to the island. I think I have all the stuff already. I just haven't done it yet. So we're gonna do that today. So it should be fun to see the island in the expanded mod. So good morning, good morning. Also, let me get all my cat pictures ready. Hold on. Let me grab all of these for you. I have a significant number of cat pictures and cat updates. <laughs> That's the reason you're all here, I believe. So let me get them all ready. I guess, I don't know if I got any pictures. Let me scroll back and see if I can find any of Sam. Um, this will be good. Okay, anyway, <laughs> hi everyone. Cats, cats, cats. We have much to discuss. So much to discuss. You went to a concert last night? Oh, that's fun. How did it go? Um, hey, Hurricane and Eleanor and Deidre and Lavender and Tiny and Matt and Music and Philly Roll and Ashley and Tara. Uh, thank you all. Eleni too, aim up with the subs. Thank you all so, so, so much. Okay. Okay. Hope I'm doing okay. I'm okay, Bagel. I'm okay. <laughs> anyway. Let me show you, this is Sunny from this morning while we sit here and, and let people get a chance to come into the stream. <laughs> um, Cineplans, I don't know. My stream schedule is all messed up. I don't know, I need to figure it out. So I will let you know. Well, I'll think about it today and I'll figure it out. But <laughs> it came for Kitty News. The parasocial relationship is setting in, I fear. <laughs> I totally get it, I totally get it. I really, really do. Um, <laughs> Cinderella Palea is a new game that's, I guess, kind of similar to Stardew. Um, not completely, but sim similar vibes, similar, uh, target audience to Stardew Valley. Um, and people have been asking me to play it a lot because it just came out. Um, but I haven't had a chance to play it yet because of, you know, I haven't been playing it in my spare time. Uh, and I keep not playing it on stream because I've been playing Stardew instead, so. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, Jade, and Sniper, and Ashley, and May, and Dee, and Burger, and Simon, and Grimms, thank you so much. You had me at cat update. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> welcome in. Margo, thank you for the three months in advance. Thank you so much. What game is it? Uh, the game that we I was maybe going to play today instead of Stardew is called Palea. The game that I am playing today is called Stardew Valley. <laughs> am I keeping them all? Oh, Aspen. You're in for a a real unpleasant cat update, <laughs> if you weren't aware before. <laughs> um, I'll probably have to talk about it a few times today, but I'll tell you all who are here right now, and then we'll talk about it again in probably like 15, 20 minutes. But uh, basically, TLDR, let's go back to the beginning. Um, me and my sister found three kittens and their mom in a storm drain near my house, um, near my parents' house. Uh, and then we brought them all here to my house and I've been fostering them for about seven weeks. We found them when they were about five weeks old and they are 12 weeks, almost 13 weeks old-ish now. We don't really know how old they are because, well, I didn't know when they were born. <laughs> I just knew when I found them and the vet guessed, eh, five weeks. <laughs> um, so that's the situation. Um, I've been keeping them here. We had them all together. They've been doing really well. Um, and yesterday, we sent half of them home to my parents' house. Um, so basically the, the end game, because the mom, Frank, was a stray that my sister had been feeding for a few months before this all happened. Um, and my family was talking about taking Frank in before this even happened. Um, and then this happened, we found her babies. So like now she's really part of the family. Um, and so uh, they took Frank and one of the babies, Sam, yesterday. I brought them to my parents' house yesterday. So they have moved out <laughs> to their new forever home. Um, yesterday was really uh, emotional for me. It was a lot harder than I expected it to be. And everybody keeps being like, it's fine. They're at your parents' house. It's fine. You can see them whenever. Yeah, but I stole these babies' mom and brother. 
I felt, I know that I'm like projecting so much of my own emotions onto these cats, but like I felt when I had to put Frank and Sam in the carrier to take them away, oh my god, I felt evil. <laughs> like I just felt so bad. It was horrible. It was so horrible. Anyway, um, so I brought them home. It was all good. They're so good. Like they were so calm in the car. We get home. Frank obviously like recognizes my parents' neighborhood and stuff because she's from there. So um, she like Frank has been doing great because she knows my whole family because she's used to them feeding her outside. So Frank is doing fine. Sam has adjusted really well. Um, the afternoon yesterday went really well. They were kind of nervous at nighttime, but this morning's been going really well. Today, like, Frank jumped on the bed with my dad and was sitting on the bed with him in my old bedroom. They're in my old bedroom, which is kind of funny. Um, this is a picture of Sam from yesterday exploring his, uh, new home. <laughs> um, so they're doing really, really well, which is good. Um, but I just felt really guilty. <laughs> about the whole thing. I don't know. Um, I was like crying a lot thinking about how Sam is like loves to play with his siblings and he's getting taken away and I just I know that he's gonna do great and like once he's introduced to my parents other cats like Lemon is just like him. I think they're gonna get along really well. They're both very friendly cats. Um, so I, I know that things are gonna be good but um I just was sad for me yesterday. <laughs> so long story short I was going to stream yesterday afternoon and then I was crying too much. So I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't stream yesterday. Uh, it was a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm okay, I'm okay. Um, and then the other update is like, how are the other two kitties doing? Um, and the other two, obviously Sunny and Shrimp are the ones that I'm keeping. This is the picture of Sunny from this morning. Um, this is her hearing lawnmowers for the first time. Or I guess the bigger concern was the, like they were like cutting bushes, I think. So it was a different noise. But I realized, so last week, um, they've been upstairs for most of the time that I've had them. Last week, we moved downstairs closer to the sounds of the lawn. Um, and last week when the people came, there was a hurricane, so they came, like, not close to normal time. And then we were at the vet with the babies, so the babies didn't hear it. <laughs> um, so this morning was their first time hearing anything like that. I think they probably hear it from upstairs, but it isn't the same. Um, so they were kind of nervous, but... At least she was, her brother wasn't. <laughs> um, here's a picture of Sunny on the cat tree. Here's a picture of Sunny on the cat tree. <laughs> and here's a picture of Sunny on the cat tree. Wait, where's, the okay, this is what I wanted to show you. This is them both on the cat tree. So, um, very, very cute. The most frequently asked question is when are you going to introduce them to Snap? When are you going to introduce them? So the reason they moved downstairs last week is to start having them uh, nearer by, basically. I've been feeding Snap, like, Snap's food is normally right outside of their door, like, regular times, because it's next to the kitchen. Um, and the babies obviously eat in here by their door, so they've been eating near each other, which is good. Positive scent association. Um, Snap is very aware that there's cats in there. Um, they have, so this, uh, let me see if I can find another picture. There is, in this room, there's a door that has access to the patio. So they can see, oh, here's a better view of this. Um, this is the patio, right? And then I have like a sliding glass door in the living room so they can see the patio from here. Um, and Snap has been out here, <laughs> um, like on the patio. So they've seen each other through the window before. Um, and they've seen each other like when the door is open sometimes, but they haven't met face to face yet, um, which is, we're gonna work on that in the next couple days because we've been like slowly letting them adjust, <laughs> basically. Um, today the plan after I stream is the babies are gonna come up here and Snappy's gonna go in their room. We're gonna do a little trade so she can smell their room and stuff. Um, so that's the plan for later. Uh, but the, the goal is to introduce them slowly to make it as easy as possible for them. Snappy was really scared of them yesterday when she saw them through the window. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh at her, because it's not funny to, to laugh at my scared cat, but she, I mean, like, they're, they're babies, snap, like, it's a kitten, like, it's, like, this big, like, it's a kitten, <laughs> but they were fine, they were just, picture this, like, shrimp just sitting in the tree looking, like, okay, and snap was, like, cowering. <laughs> oh, she went up on her own, though, I didn't show her, she went up on her own to go see him, which is good, so. Anyway, um, she will, she will do well. 
<laughs> in her mind, she's like, what are those things? Who is that? But I, I think that she, she'll she do okay. She just needs time. She hasn't been around cats in a long time, so... Um, being afraid of babies is understandable, I know. <laughs> No, I usually stream at this time on Wednesdays. I'm here in the morning on Wednesdays, but only on Wednesdays. Um, so, anyway, slow introduction is the way. So that's that's what's going on. I think um, a lot of people don't realize that like that is kind of the way <laughs> to do it with cats. Um, people also say things like, "Oh, you can have play dates with the sibling." By the time like they're they're not cats don't really do that like. Um, they're they're gonna forget about each other and then a play date is not like they're not gonna enjoy that cats don't like travel well um cats don't like to go to new places cats don't want to hang out with other cats like um so it's sad but that's kind of us like projecting onto them what we think they would want but cats don't actually want that so um they they wouldn't enjoy that <laughs> um so there is no such play date going to ever happen probably yeah, Sunny is the wide-eyed one. Yeah. She just looks like that. She literally always looks like that. It's not as bad. She normally looks like this. Um, but, you know. I sent this to Hope because Hope asked me from a different picture which one was which. And I was like, can you tell which one's which? Can you tell which one's which? She's very funny. Early stream? Yeah, we stream in the morning on Wednesdays. Uh, 9 a.m. Eastern time on Wednesdays is when I'm usually alive. So, um, found a calming spray. Yeah, we have, um, there's like these little, uh, like, diffusers um, that have like cat pheromones or something um, that help them. So I have a couple around. There's one in here. There's one um, in the hallway outside where Snap stuff is and stuff, so... We're working on it. I don't know if it's working. <laughs> I, I haven't tried without it, so I don't know. <laughs> no live tonight. Caroline, I don't ever stream on Wednesday afternoons. So no, I only stream in the morning on Wednesdays. Unfortunately. Um, yeah, Sam and Frank are with my parents now, yeah. Uh, they, they've they been doing pretty well, so that's good. That is good. Anyway, um, that's my life update. <laughs> so... Oh yeah, definitely bookworm. The the introduction of them and Snap is gonna be significantly easier because they are kittens. Um, like I, it would be so much harder on on Snap and the other cat if they were older um, for them to meet. But because they're kittens, like it's it's gonna be I think a lot easier for her. And also because there's two of them, I hope that they will entertain themselves and maybe not bother her much. <laughs> you know. Um, that's kind of the that's kind of the goal, but it's it would definitely be a lot easier to introduce an old cat to a baby than to another older cat. Um, and two kittens are better than one. So, <laughs> hey Rebecca, Kirby with the tier three, thirty six months, three years. Oh my god. Um, and Oz and Dork and Lulu and Chelsea with the tier two, thirty six months as well. Oh my god, <laughs> tier two in three years. Um, and, and Jen, and Jackie, and Thea, and Carly, and Star, and Caro, and Cass, and Emma, and Miss Marenga, and Marlaboo, Cal with a thousand bits, Anxiety, Gasly, Carlin, Head, and OG, and Nurse, and Selena, and Ruby. Oh my god, I talked about cats way too much. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't thank anybody for their subs. Massive Seagull, Taya, Anna, Amber, Holly, Margo, Jade, Sniper, May. Thank you so much. Okay, will you play Palea? Uh, Lore, you know, I was originally planning on doing that today. Well, what I had said in my schedule was, maybe I will play it today. <laughs> and then I took the cat thing a lot harder than I expected. And I didn't set anything up. I don't even have the game installed yet. So, um, yeah. <laughs> you introduced a kitten to two adult cats and the adults were afraid? Yeah, that's, I mean, Snap seems kind of scared too. They haven't met face to face yet, but... Um, anyway, Stardew is a lovely little comfort game for me, so that's what I'm going to do. That is my plan. Um, I'm looking, let me look at my schedule again. My schedule next week is so busy. I'm gonna play, there's another game that I want to play too that's coming out soon, um, called Fae Farm that I want to play. So, um, I don't think I'm gonna play Paleo next week because I'm gonna play Fae Farm instead, but maybe the, maybe the week after that. <laughs> That's ridiculous. 
Oh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. But yeah, we have there's lots of things going on. Lots to do. Lots to worry about. Um Okay. Anyway, hi Sophia. Our home is always full of laughter. You pat Sophia on the head. Oh, sorry, I like swung my sword at her. <laughs> Stanley is sleeping. That's my little baby. That's my little baby. Let me check down here too. Geeks and Lauren, thank you for the subs. All right, I need to make a, f a handful more of those casks um, and then we can stop on this, but I'm not quite done yet. I don't know how many more I need. Um, okay. Maybe I can make like, oh. <laughs> okay, we have to go chop some more trees. This is not so good. You're sleeping on Palea. I know that I would like it, friend. I know that I would like it. I just haven't had time to play it yet. I'm so sorry. I know that I would like it. It's just, in my defense, I've had all these cats in my house that have taken up literally every ounce of my spare time. I haven't done anything. Like, I don't play games in my free time recently because I'm always, like, I'm not up here, you know? Um, so, anyway. Anyway. I need, I need some, uh, comfort familiar games today. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Ev and Nev and Geeks and Lauren and Lollipop, thank you for the subs. The amount of crying that I have done about cats recently is unbearable. You guys have no idea. This is not such bad crying as the other cats. <laughs> oh, I guess I probably should show you- uh, hold on, there's ads playing, but I can show you guys, um, another cat update on one of my parents' cats um, that some of you might remember. I don't know if I've shown many pictures of him on stream recently. So we can we can do that too. Um, okay. Oh God, souffle, yeah, I bet. I can't even imagine what that would be like. Uh-oh. Cats and gold, thank you for the five months. Oh my God, can I show them the picture? Can I show them the picture that you drew? I would love to, if that is okay with you. I can, oh my God, okay, I will show them. Let me, let me scroll back and get it. Annoyingly, there's still ads playing. You guys are gonna love this. So, Kat drew this picture of the sewer babies for me. Simsy and the sewer rat, I mean Kat. <laughs> this is this made me so emotional when i saw it isn't that so cute anyway so those are my little sewer friends <laughs> it's really 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 cute thank you for making it it's so adorable <laughs> also can mods can you put a link in the chat to you know a certain someone's switch channel maybe <laughs> anyway very very adorable the other thing I wanted to show you guys, let me see if I can find, um, okay, this is not such good vibes anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but let me see if I can find, I have to scroll back really far in me and hopes, uh, messages. Okay, here we go. So one of my parents' other cats, um, this is, um, my family cat that I grew up with. His name is Pogi, and, uh, we found out that he has cancer last week, um, and no offense, Pokey, but you look kind of awful right now. Like, I'm not going to lie. I've been sitting here staring at these pictures of you and you're like looking a little rough. Um, he's not doing so well, but, but, uh, he's been on a steroid for about a week now and he has been doing better. Um, it's been helping his symptoms a little bit, which is good. Um, so that's good news in the wake of some bad news. His, um, his medicine has been helping him. So, um, anyway. Poor little guy. I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> That's my, it's so weird. It's the whole situation. There's just so many, like, um, lots of really emotional things going on in my family's lives right now. So, um, but anyway, he's, he's doing a little better with his medication. Um, anyway, so how about that Stardew? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. 
Thank you. We have to chop a whole bunch of these trees down because we need to make some more casks. Considering having a waffle for breakfast, nice. I ate a handful of dry cereal before I went live. <laughs> oh, that was a fail, okay. But anyway. <laughs> Oh, sweet music woman, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I'm I'm proud of you. I know it's um it's hard to bring pets to the vet because sometimes it can be scary for them and stuff, but it's um it's well worth it because it helps them to be safe and things, you know. Um speaking as a person who's been to the vet once a week <laughs> for about two months straight <laughs> with everything going on, you guys don't understand. I haven't talked about this too too much, um, because there's too much bad things happening, but um, we went to the vet for Snappy's checkup. We find out that she's got uh, early stages of kidney disease, which is very common in older cats. Um, really unpleasant though. We found out because she had a, like a routine senior panel done. <laughs> and, um, oop, kidney disease. So now she's on a, a prescription food, which she actually really likes, which is a relief. Um, she's been doing well with that. Um, she also has to get a couple teeth pulled, which is, you know, that sucks. That'll be soon. Um, going to the vet with her in a couple days, uh, in regards to that, uh, on Thursday, that's tomorrow. Anyway, then I have these kittens, they've got all their kitten shots, which happen very frequently, so I'm back at the vet with them constantly. Um, Frank is getting spayed soon, so we've been, like, going to get her blood drawn and prep work for her spay. I've literally been- and then now Pogi with the cancer. I've been to the vet literally, literally, once a week, for, like, eight weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. <sighs> you have to figure out how to ask for the brave vet tech because the rest will not handle your cat. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, the vet is like you again. <laughs> I think that they're excited to see the kittens though. They like seeing the kittens. It's fun for them. Um, anyway. Um, how many more of these should I chop today? Should get a punch card or something as a frequent customer? Well, this is the thing, right? My family's been going to this vet for like my entire life. So my parents' dogs go there too. My parents' cats go and stuff, obviously. So everyone's been going to this vet for a long time. We are frequent customers these days. <laughs> but um, the, there's just a lot of cat things happening uh, at the moment, which is making us be there a lot more often than normal. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go finish. I don't exactly know how many more of these I need, so I'm gonna go figure that out and then... Um, okay. Let's see, maybe one, two, three, six? Okay, I can do that. Yeah, I'm really sorry, Hope. It would it would be really hard to find, um, and I'm sure there's many good vets, but it's just hard to find, um, like, trusted vets after you're used to going to one that you know is really good, and, like, you have been there for a long time, and everybody's used to them and stuff. It's, that part's kind of difficult. So. Yeah, I, um, the... The vet is like, I live a little bit farther away from it now, obviously, because I don't live in my parents' house anymore. Um, I don't live far away from it, but farther. Oh, I needed seven. Oh, dang it. I forgot about the empty space. Um, I live a bit farther away from it, um, but I still think it's worth it to drive the extra, like, I don't know, it's like an extra 15 minutes more than I would like to drive there. Um, but it's, it's, in my opinion, worth it just because I know them and stuff. Steffi knows them. It's easier. Oh, yeah, I totally get that, Hope. Yeah, I totally, totally get that. Um, okay. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now these are all out of sync. It's very annoying. Okay, 
I'm not gonna keep all of these because I have more wine being made, so I'm gonna sell some of it, I think, for now. All right, go away, go away, go away, go away, cool. Yeah, that makes sense, Ruby. If your animals love them, it's, uh, it really does help if they're like used to and, and like the person a lot, you know? Your cat's very old and thinks she's the queen of the household. Well, she is. You're lucky she lets you live in her house. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go to uh, Willie's boat now and, and restore it. Um, I need five of these. I'll just bring all of it, to be honest. Let's go. <laughs> part chihuahua, part rat terrier, part question mark, question mark, question mark. Nice, Christine. <laughs> LCT dog, a full Trisha Gemma. Thank you for the subs. That reminds me, speaking of like not knowing what the cats are and the dogs are, um, the babies, when I went to the vet um, for their checkup last week to get more shots and stuff, um, the vet, we it was a different doctor than we had seen because um, he was filling in for the one that we usually do, but the same vet tech. Um, and he was like asking us questions about them, kind of curious about how we found them and stuff. And he was like, well, do you know who the dad is? Like, cause he was saying that they're huge. Um, and he was like, who's the dad? Like, have you seen him? Are they going to be giant? Like how big's their mom? Um, <laughs> and I was like, no, of course I don't know who the dad is. I found them in a sewer. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of funny thinking about it. The boat will be repaired overnight. Excellent. Okay, that makes sense, Hope. I, I totally get that. I totally get that. <laughs> um, okay, you know, Sarcastic, I do I do actually have a guess of who the other dad, of who the dad is. And here's, here's the thing. Um, there is another all black cat that my sister has seen occasionally around my parents' house. We don't see him all that often. The fear is that that all black cat may be Frank's brother. Um, <laughs> but there is, there is an all black cat that we have seen before. And I don't know. I, I don't know. There's, I don't know. We don't know him. It's probably likely. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> but anyway, so that's uh, something, I guess. Cats don't really care about that. Well, yeah, exactly. Cats don't care about that, but it uh, can't be good <laughs> to say the least. Um, yeah, that happens a lot in like um, cat colonies and stuff, obviously, so. I don't know. Not so good. Not so good. Some generation, they're fine. Yeah, that's that's a uh, something to think about. Can't be too bad, but it also can't be too good either. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, have to see if your teeth grow in. Oh my god, hope. I don't even want to think about that. <sighs> I guess I should. Hope's cat, uh, her adult teeth didn't grow in. And it was like a whole thing. Anyway. <laughs> Eli, from my understanding, I think that uh, black cats, it's like a pretty common uh, coloring. It's like a, it's it's like a dominant gene, right? So um, I don't think that both cats have to be black for the babies to be black. It seems to me, now as a person who doesn't know much about uh, cats, and like genetics and stuff in this way. Everyone seems to be very surprised that they're all black. Like every time the vet sees them, whenever it's like a new tech or a new vet or anyone new at the vet's office, they're like, oh my God, they're all black. It, it's like a, a surprise each time. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so basically Hope's cat doesn't have adult, like all of her adult teeth. They thought for a while that they just weren't growing in, they were gonna have to get removed or something, but no, she just doesn't have them. Toothless. So, um, anyway, cat genetics, fascinating. Okay, 
Yeah, but it is, usually when you see litters of kittens, they, they tend to look a little bit more different, but anyway. Your black cat had a mom who looked like Snap. That's so, isn't that so interesting? Yeah, I've got a bunch of little clones. <laughs> Frankie cloned herself three times. Um, yeah, we could do cat DNA testing on them, but I don't know if cat DNA testing works in the same way that like dog DNA testing does because dog breeds are a little bit more like distinct and and stuff than cats because um I don't know the cats are like cats <laughs> the DNA testing works for like health issues and stuff right um but it's not going to give you like breed information because they're like domestic short hairs like they're not like a fancy breed of cat so um it's not going to come back with anything like that but might be interesting <laughs> um i would be i would be kind of curious to see so yeah their cat breed is sewer cat i think a lot of people don't know that because um like with the cat breeds because people ask like what kind of cat are they what kind of cat are they the actual breed is just domestic short hair <laughs> like there it's kind of just like cat the breed is cat um but their coloring is different so unless they're somehow magically pure but could you imagine <laughs> i found myself some fancy cats <laughs> okay i would love oh my god i would just love to know where frank came from i want to know so badly because i really really think that she has to have been around people at some point in her life but I don't, maybe, I don't know, you know, I, I would so badly like to know. Um, is that be the same? Like, just generic domestic short hair? Yeah, she has, I think she has a little bit, her, her fur is a little bit, um, like, longer. Um, not long, but she's, I don't know, she's got some mix in her. Her fur isn't as short as some of the, her relative cats, as in, like, the brothers that aren't biologically related to her. <laughs> So, medium hair, <laughs> basically. Oh my god. <laughs> I have 200,000 more dollars. That's very fun. We're rich. Very, very, very rich. <laughs> okay, and the boat is repaired. Okay, it's Jody's birthday. I don't think me and Jody are besties yet, so let me just check really quickly. Oh, we're close. I've never given Jody a loved gift before. I'm sorry, Jody. I can get you something good. Um, diamonds easy. Maybe I'll bring Jody a diamond today. I was trying to decide if I wanted to cook or something, because I could make her a chocolate cake. It is her birthday, but I changed my mind. <laughs> I don't want to cook her anything. <laughs> I have no desire. Okay. The boat is seaworthy again. Yay. Good. Can't wait for the kittens to interrupt streams. Oh my god, I literally had a dream about that last night. I had a dream that I was streaming and one of the cats came in and jumped on my desk and I was like, literally, how did you do that? One, you don't jump that high at once yet. <laughs> Two, how did you get up here? You've never seen stairs. <laughs> but, um, the so part of the reason why I was... I, I've kept the cats, um, like, kind of secluded, obviously because of Snap, um, and, and also because of Frankie, because I, I didn't think that Frankie and the cats, sh or Frankie and Snap should meet, but now that Frankie has gone home, we can, like, really start the introduction process and, and, like, start letting the cats out. I was talking to Hope about this last night, and I don't know if what I did was the right thing, um, and frankly, I don't want to hear that it was the wrong thing, because it makes me feel guilty, but, um, I was unsure, because I, I let the so basically like snap if she's not up here i probably could have brought frank up here to see it if snap's not here as long as, long as they don't see each other face to face and stuff but i didn't know if bringing frank out occasionally would make things better or worse for her like would would it be harder for her to be in the room if she knew there was more rooms and then like frank went into heat and you know she was like screaming trying to get out and find a man <laughs> And, like, because of her, you know, condition, like, I didn't know, um, I didn't know if it would be 
best to like let her explore more or if it would be better to just let her not know that she can explore. So basically I didn't, I kept her in the room. <laughs> um, I kept her in the room to make it easier for her. Um, but anyway, I just, I've felt guilt about that. Like, did I do the right thing? It's too late now. She's gone, but I think I did. I think I did. Um, but anyway, <laughs> a man. Well, yeah, so uh, coming from a person who experienced a cat in heat for the first time, um, she, when, when she was in heat, she, first of all, was like behaving very strangely, but in the air, screaming at the window, um, <laughs> like making these weird, like, uh, like, I don't know, kind of like guttural purring noises, not regular purring, but like it was, she was acting very strange. <laughs> um, so it was, yeah, normal heat behavior. She was like yowling, um, but anyway. She's getting fixed in a, uh, in next week, next Thursday, I think. Let me just check. Next Thursday is her appointment. Yeah. Um, should see the face I'm making right now. Yeah, I know. Imagine how it was for me. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very, it's very uncomfortable for her. It just sucks. Um, and I learned because all of my cats have been spayed. I've never experienced an unspayed cat before until I found one in a sewer. Um, so this has been, well, this has been a very new experience for me, obviously. <laughs> so I've been doing a lot of research about like cat heat and spay cycles, and, or sorry, heat cycles and spay and stuff. Um, and I learned that cats, adult cats, don't go through like a menopause. Like when, when they get old, it doesn't get better. It gets worse. Oh. And then also cats who are unspayed, they're more likely to get a bunch of health problems. Um, they can develop uterine cancer. Uh, they can get this thing called pyometra, which is like pus in their uterus, like things that will kill them, really bad things. Um, anyway, very, ah, <laughs> very bad. It makes me feel, oh, I forgot the diamond. Um, it makes me feel very bad for them. So anyway, she's luckily getting spayed. Um, I know, well, this is the thing, right? Like she went into heat, it was honestly like three weeks ago. Um, so her kittens were, were like nine weeks old and she went into heat again. And if she were outside, like she could have had another litter. Oh my God. Anyway, so thankfully she was in here. The vets wanted to wait until she was like fully done uh, nurse, like fully done weaning and nursing the cats. And then like a few weeks afterward. Um, to spay them uh, and then they like wanted to get her blood test results back. So anyway, she's getting spayed next week, but <laughs> um, And she would have gotten pregnant if she were outside in heat. So it's just kind of scary um, But yeah <laughs> oh, I forgot Jody again. I'm sorry Jody <laughs> Keep forgetting I keep talking about cats and just ditching her um I think she'll be in her house right now. Sorry, Jody. Happy birthday. Okay. Um, yeah, Jay, I, I've heard about that sort of thing. Um, cause I was looking that up too. Cause I was curious if she was able to be spayed when she was in heat. Um, and, or like if you had to wait, but like they go, back in so quickly. It was weird because she would be fine for like a week and then she would be doing it again and then fine for a week. She seems fine right now. Um, but there's like kind of conflicting information online about it. Like some places say wait, some places say don't. It's like, it could be like enlarged or something during her heat cycle, but I don't know if it actually matters. Um, I don't know. There's so much conflicting information about cats and like when to spay and neuter them because th when you have rescues, like a lot of times they'll, the kittens, when they're eight weeks and like two pounds, they'll immediately um, spay and neuter them because that way they can be adopted out and stuff. Um, but anyway, oh. That sound, I'm sorry, Ken. You should have known that sound remind me of the war, oh. Uh, I lost a lot of good friends in those bloody trenches. Oh my God, I don't know if I wanna watch this right now. 
Um, you know, Clara, um, I, I think that, uh, it sounds bad, doesn't it, when you describe it as that? Um, but it's, it's way better for, for pets to be spayed and neutered than not, okay? There's so many things, bad things that can happen to them when they're not spayed. Like, when I was talking about the, the cats, how they're more likely to get uterine cancer and stuff when they're not spayed. Um, obviously it puts them through these miserable heat cycles every month. She can get pregnant and have all these kittens that are unwanted. Like, it's just, um... It's just bad. Um, it's it's very important to spay and neuter your pets <laughs> um, to to help their long term health. Um, I think that a lot of people have like weird. Uh, they they project a lot of like human emotions onto it sometimes too. Like some I learned from the vet. He was telling me how a lot of men don't like to neuter their dogs um, because they'll be like. Oh my god, I can't imagine that happening to me. And then um, they don't do it. <laughs> but it's a dog. Not true at all. You don't have to spay. Okay, Super JoJo. Bye. <laughs> nice to meet you. Bye. First message. I don't know where what I don't know where you got that idea, but that's in my research and experience talking to professionals, that's not true at all. So okay, bye. <laughs> Um, we don't really appreciate spreading misinformation like that, okay? It's not safe. Um, anyway, yeah, and male cats will spray. Yeah, it's not good, so. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I know hope. These people are, the kind of things people say are so ridiculous. I'm talking about cats that I found in a sewer. I'm, I'm talking about spaying a cat and her kittens that I found in a sewer. <laughs> like, it's not good to spay. These are rescue cats that got found in a sewer. <laughs> All right, I am going to the boat. Yay! I'm so excited. I'm curious if anything is different about the island in Expanded. I, from my understanding, I don't think there is anything um, different about the island in Expanded, right? I don't know, I haven't been there yet <laughs> in, in the mod, so we'll see. We shall see. Nothing new here? Yeah, I don't think so. It unlocks stuff. Yeah, that's what I was told before, is that it's like a stepping stone to more new stuff. So. Anyway. I'm here! This is so exciting! Okay. I have- it's been a while since I've played, uh, this far into the- into the island, so I'm kind of curious to- mess around a little bit and see. <sighs> Hello, my little friend. Sorry. 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 Okay. Hello. I'm just gonna grab all these things. Thank you. I got my first golden walnut. <laughs> It's cold in your office, you're a popsicle? Oh my goodness, really? I'm sorry. That is unpleasant. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna grab like all of, journal scrap. I'm just gonna grab like all of this stuff quickly. Hello. It's 97 where you are today. I don't know how hot it is right now. I am wearing a sweater, but there's air conditioning. It's only 82 right now. It's gonna be, it's gonna be 92, but it's only 82 right now. Okay. Thank you. Ooh. Am I next playing Sims? We're gonna play Sims tomorrow, Ellie. Um, I only stream in the morning on on Wednesdays. So, we're playing something else this morning. 
Hello. The boy looks at you with curious eyes. Hello. He seems to have a close bond with the parrots. Interesting. But he's too shy to approach you right now. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the fun part about the island, if many of you haven't seen Story before, um, this is, uh, it came out an update, actually in like 2020, didn't it? Um, but, uh, <laughs> Six Buried in the West, um, it came out in 2020, so it's been a few years, but this was like, basically, a, like a massive update, the size of an enormous expansion, this was a huge update to this game, and it was free, years after the game first came out, um, which is kind of cool, because like, the person who made this game, it's one person who made the entire thing by himself. He obviously did not have to do this, <laughs> but he made us this massive update. And a lot of people haven't even seen the island yet. When I play here on stream sometimes, oh my. When I play here on stream sometimes, um, they'll be like, oh my God, <laughs> what is this mod? And I get to be like, it's not a mod. <laughs> it's it's uh, part of the regular game. This is vanilla, um, which is kind of cool, so. Ooh, golden coconut. Okay. Anyway, this is my first time being here in this save, so we're kind of looking around a little bit. We will slowly get to all the walnuts, but I'm not, like, prioritizing speedrunning this or anything. So many things that look like... Oh my goodness. I'm stuck! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I don't know if I want to go in there right now. Do we dare? Maybe. Oh. How fun. I didn't really prepare to do this today. Oh go there we go yeah I wasn't really um, imagining myself being here at this moment <laughs> discord cannot be trusted because you just got the notification yes yeah, see it sends it out so late I don't get it die it's better than yeah it came out two and a half hours late the other day which was way worse I guess that was last week, not really the other day, <laughs> but anyway, this, so this is like a cool second mine, see? I unfortunately didn't really prepare myself to be in here today. I wasn't really thinking about this. I kind of just wanted to be at the island, so. Is it consistently Wednesdays? No, I think the Discord notifications just get sent late. I think that um, from what I was talking to people about, it sounds like it might have something to do with like uh, server size and also the fact that it's like the role mention and not the, um, what's it called? Like at everyone. And also they're, um, ooh, Ginger. And they're also like uh, only laid on mobile and not laid on desktop, which is something to consider as well. So if you're if you're on desktop, you won't have that problem so much. Ooh, what kind of ring? Protection ring. Interesting. Interesting. You have it open on desktop? Yeah, desktop's usually a little faster with the, it's like immediate on desktop from my understanding. Oh, I don't need to go that way. <laughs> Uh oh. I'm not handling this island well today. I should have gone elsewhere. Okay. Okay. Noodles, Germana, Christina, thank you for the subs. Yeah, I would never use at everyone to mention that I was going live for like a regular stream. I at everyone on like a, 
a special occasion kind of thing where it's like it's the first day of my charity stream <laughs> you know um or like i i guess like extreme circumstances um i think that i like added everyone when uh we found out dan was able to move here like you know like extreme stuff is when i would use that feature i wouldn't use it for like a regular everyday thing because then i when you do that then i think people turn off like that at everyone they like suppress it and then doesn't work. Um, so, oops. Like I gotta be honest, the servers that I'm in, I say it with love. But the servers that I'm in, that at everyone, whenever they go live, I I mute the at everyone. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. You leave immediately when you get loads of notice from the same server? Yeah. Makes sense. I got another walnut. Oh my god, I'm lost. You would do that too? Yeah, it's just, it's hard to get that many notifications, you know? Um, so girl does, thank you for the 36 months. Okay. Always muting out everyone posts? Yeah. Some servers do it so often. I'm in a few, um, in a few servers that are like, I guess like business related for me, <laughs> you know? Um, and it's like with a brand or like with a Twitch thing, you know, like stuff like that. I'm, I'm in some servers like that. And I've noticed in some of those servers, the team doesn't turn off allowing like anybody to add everyone. And so sometimes, sometimes the other streamers will add everyone in in the like regular server <laughs> and it makes me really anxious <laughs> when they do that because i'm like oh no people hate this when you do stuff like this <laughs> but it's like random streamers will add everyone in the server to be like hey guys um i don't know i'm trying to think of an example but it'll be like to ask a question but like to add everyone in a server that isn't yours oh oh no <laughs> Oh no, people usually get so irritated by stuff like that. And you would assume that like a person who streams would know that, you know? But maybe they're used to running their own server, so they're just used to adding everyone for stuff. <laughs> but it's like a server of like 200 people and they're like adding them for non-issues. What are you? It's been a while since I've been in here. It's like hitting reply all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay, we need a few sets of crystals, don't we? Another walnut! I don't know how much time I'm gonna spend in here. I'm gonna stay here until I pass out tonight at the very least, but I don't know about after that. Mushrooms! Hi, little guys. Sorry for killing you. Those are pretty good quality. I should get some more. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> some girl says, Sims man, and Pixie, thank you for the subs, everybody. Die. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, shoot. Sorry, everyone. I almost died. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, Christine, all the time. <laughs> I send things in mods and I'm like, wait, was that in the wrong place? Was that in general chat? Because there's some stuff that, um, you know, said with love, but there's some stuff that is not safe for general chat. <laughs> Specifically, like, all of it, I don't know, sometimes I'll send a picture and it's like, what if you can see the outside of my house in it, you know? Not safe for general chat. Safe for mods. We need to go. Oh, I'm dying. Cute. Okay, eat more. All right. Oh my god. We're probably gonna pass out in this level of the mines today. 
This is the place that I should have brought my slime ring to. I wasn't really thinking about the fact that I was gonna be coming into the mines. I kind of just was like, I'm going to the island! <laughs> I wasn't thinking about the mines like that. Another protection ring, I got two. Don't need. Okay. We've got 20 cinder shards, that's not that many. You bought a bunch of cat toys for your cats? Oh, fun, that's so exciting. Getting new cat toys is like getting a new toy for yourself. <laughs> At least that's how it feels to me. <laughs> I really like it. Okay, this level's annoying. I have to press this button and then go. Okay. It doesn't matter, I'm not gonna make it out anyway. Oh my God, stop. A ruby. Cool. All right. Cool. 1.40 a.m. <laughs> Ghost, thanks for the 16 months. Yeah, we're not making it through this level. That's okay. I can try and get myself some more stuff while I'm in here, at least. If you pass out from exhaustion in the mines, like at 2 a.m., um, nothing bad happens to you. You just lose a thousand gold. Um, a thousand gold max, because it takes a percentage of your total gold, and I only have too much, so it takes a thousand gold max. If you die, it's different. Um, like if you, if you die in the mines because you get attacked, um, but that's just passing out is no problem. Um, nothing bad, 1k gold is expensive. I have 650,000. Stanley was playing around in the dirt outside, how to draw a bath. You took Stanley out of his crib for the first time when I wasn't home? <laughs> oh my God. You let my son play for the first time and didn't show me? <laughs> Oh my god. You think you can trust people, huh? Apparently not. All right, I'm gonna go, I think today, I forgot to, to replace this yesterday, so I need to do that. And then, um, oh, I should have pumpkins. Oh, I'll probably already have pumpkin seeds. Yeah, I named him Stanley, do you like it? If you were me, where would you have put the pumpkin seeds? I usually keep them in that first chest, but oh, they're here. Yes, that checks out. You don't like any of the Stardew Valley characters or spouses? Really, Hope? I don't have enough. I don't know, I wasn't thinking just then. <laughs> I wasn't thinking at all. Okay, let me make a couple chests while I'm sitting here. That's for the skull caverns. I mean the, sorry, that's for the new mines. Okay, I can sell that coconut. Um, I think... Cool. Carrier, thank you for the 32 month resub. All right, you missed the kitty update? Oh, we can do it again. Um, the, the kitty update is that Frankie and Sam moved home to my parents' house yesterday. They've been doing really well. Um, things are going well. I think Shannon just sent a picture of them. They're hanging out inside my, my old room. Here's a picture of them on the, I don't know why I'm holding this up instead of showing you on screen, but here's a picture of them um, sitting on the bed and on the tree together in my old room. They're doing really well. Uh, but yesterday was a very hard day for me. <laughs> yesterday was uh, rough to say the least. So um, yeah, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. All is well. I'm gonna bring my slime charmer ring, I think, with me. 
but it's just been, it's been hard. My babies are here. Um, I got Sunny and Shrimp still in my house. Um, this is a picture of them on their tree yesterday, uh, last night, so you'd be a foster fail much like I would. You know, I think that, um, I, I say that it's been a very emotional, hard experience for me, but I think that, uh, were I actually fostering, like, and not planning on keeping all four of the cats, um, I think that it, it would have been easier for me because I would have been, like, more emotionally prepared. Um, like, I, I would know, you know? Like, this time was just, it was different because we knew we were keeping them all, and so I allowed myself to get very attached. <laughs> um, but I think if I were actually fostering, um, obviously the goal of foster is to send them home, to a new home, and then get more cats. <laughs> yeah, and if I already had three cats, like, uh, foster fails a bit harder to do when you've got three cats already, so. But goodbye is the goal with fostering, so. You get attached regardless. Yeah, I, I mean, I probably would too. I would like to foster cats, especially now that I have some experience. Um, I would really like to do that. Um, okay. You know what else I'm gonna buy while I'm here? Oh, maybe I won't. I was thinking about trying to get some more saplings, but I don't wanna do that today. I was gonna get more tree saplings, but I don't wanna plant them. It was obvious from the start it would be a foster fail. Well, yeah, I knew I was gonna keep them from the beginning anyway. I, I kept telling people I was fostering them because I didn't know which ones I would keep and I wasn't sure if I should keep them all. Like, I, so I, but I knew in my heart the entire time that I wanted to keep them. Um, but I, I just didn't wanna talk about it on the internet too much until like there was some more certainty involved, which I think makes sense. It's just the internet, you know, <laughs> so. Um, to try following Kitten Lady. I do follow Kitten Lady. Um, I, everyone's been telling me about that for the past, like, couple months, so I, I, uh, agreed with their advice. <laughs> How does I wish kittens to keep? Annie, um, I was, I was really focused on the kittens and which ones, to me, seemed the most like they, they should stay together was kind of what was going on. Um, so I was, I was just keeping an eye on them and, and stuff. Um, I don't know if Sunny and Shrimp are, like, when you hear about bonded cats, I don't think that they are, like, in that same way. But I felt like they would do the best together, and Sam was a little bit more independent. So, that was kind of the thought. Um, anyway. Found the internet scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Piggy, thank you for the tier two four months. And Krista and Malls loves cats <laughs> and courier and ghosts. Thank you so much. Anyway, the kitties have been a real highlight in my life. So. Okay. To the island. To the island. Hurry up. I guess I should skip this. Now I've been here once. <laughs> I might as well. Okay. We got stuff to work on today. <laughs> ten. Oh, I don't have ten. Boo. Let me go see what I can find in here. <laughs> okay. Um, I already... Isn't there like, I don't remember where they all are. It's been so long since I played. Oh, wait. How do you get more walnuts? You have to find them. Hello. You bird friend? Yeah, I'm bird friend. There's one in this tree, I know. So we'll, in this tree, we'll get it. Seem good. Thank you. That's very kind. He can chirp like a bird. <laughs> she asked if you are bird friend. I told her yes. 
This is so cute. How did you end up here? I shouldn't ask these deep questions. Big storm, waves, lightning. This is so sad. Mother and father swallowed by the sea. I washed up on shore. That was just a dream, right? Oh my God. No, I was born here, just like all the other bird friends. Can't you tell? Yeah, you are a bird. We don't think like that. We say, how many golden walnuts have you eaten? I've eaten 3,729 golden walnuts, but you don't become an elder until you've eaten 10,000. Okay, I'll get there someday. I remembered something. My name? Oh, it's Leo! Hi, Leo. He's so cute. I got a walnut, I got a walnut. Okay. Let's go down, now I have the 10, we can go over there. And we shall see what happens. Just 9,999 to go until I'm a bird elder. There you go. Hello, 10 walnuts. The birds are attacking a turtle! <laughs> Uh-oh, Leona, Fleetle, Venus, and Piggy, thank you for the subs. Here's my new farm! It's all very exciting. How many walnuts do I need to build this? 20. Oh my. Kind of game is Stardew Valley. You want, you don't know if you want to get it, but you don't know if you should. Okay, I don't know if uh, you've ever seen one of our Stardew streams before, but if you haven't, um, it's a farming game at its core. Um, so there's a lot of like farm things that you can do. Uh, for example, right now, obviously, um, I'm like clearing out a farm space. This is kind of a cool part to tune into because we just got to this new section, uh, this like s this secret island we've unlocked today um so it's kind of fun but it's at its core it's a farming game there's some story involved um it's pretty fun i i think you should get it <laughs> but i'm a little biased i guess um but anyway day one my ship is lost shattered by a tempest in the unforgiving sea i find myself stranded now on these strange shores my crew has perished but i still live perhaps lady luck has blessed these wicked bones of mine or has her own designs for my fate. At any rate, I've no choice but to make a life for myself here. There's fresh water in abundance, food to forage, and fertile soil to work. First, I'll build a shelter. Ooh. Day 14. After half a month on this island, I've learned a thing or two about finding these golden nuts. One must keep their eyes peeled for subtle clues. If something looks unusual, there may be a hidden nut nearby. I've noticed signs in the sand and signs in the leaves. I even saw a nut up in a tree near the volcano. If only I had a way of shooting it down. Whenever I've spotted a nut plant, I've always found a way to reach it. That's a nice pro tip. <laughs> Ooh. Let's go there next. I can do that. Okay. Day six, I won't go hungry here. The waters are full of edible, nay, delicious fish. I even caught a stingray in the caves by the southeast shore. I haven't a clue what to do with it though. The other day I even finished up a couple of golden walnuts. Fished up, sorry. <laughs> they seem to be all over the island. Yep, we'll look for them. We'll look for them. I'm gonna come kill these little guys. Die, 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 die. Dwarf scroll. Oh, there's one. Why don't I have the slime ring on? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> what is wrong with me? You're doing the egg hunt, wish you luck. Oh my goodness, you got this. Stardew Valley is only for cool people. Thank you. You know, I agree. <laughs> 
back, Slia. Thanks for the subs. Uh-oh, I'm gonna die. Uh-oh. Walnut! Walnut. How fun. Okay. If you walk the skinny walkway, you'll find another. Yeah, don't worry, friend. I know, I know. Um, should I work on this? I don't remember how to do this. Oh, that's how. I wasn't paying attention. I have to try again. Uh oh. I can't, I, this one I really struggle with. Everyone shh. Green, pink, blue. Bum. Okay. Got it. Got it. One more. Maybe. Oh god, I can't. I'm not doing it right now. I actually will not. I actually will not do it. I will not do it. I will not do it right now. I can't. <laughs> that one is hard. It, there's too much that goes on. <sighs> you could have done it. We knew. Shh. I could have like watched a clip back. <laughs> It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. You shed tears and spent hours on it. <laughs> Isn't like this area over here is where the um... There you go. Look, we can't go in here yet, obviously. We need to have so many more walnuts. We've only got 15, we need 100, but we'll get there eventually. You're not good at much, but you're good at pattern memorization. Yeah, I struggle with um, with that one in particular. Hello. I think especially when I'm streaming, I distract myself. A visitor, come closer, child. I haven't had a visitor in many moons. I almost forgot what other people looked like. Well, I suppose now that you're here, I may as well ask you for a favor. Okay. Have you seen that wrecked ship on the south shore? My husband was the captain, a pirate. He set sail one day, never to return. Took me three years sailing the high seas to find his remains. Uh oh. I've been here ever since, dear. Guarding his bones. <laughs> uh, KG, you can stay here once you've unlocked the house. Otherwise, you have to buy a ticket to get here every day. I'm working on the house, but I need more walnuts first. My child, if I could only find a keepsake of his, it would bring me such peace. Yeah, we can make warp totems and stuff in the meantime. Take this, it's an old photograph that washed up on shore. It's all I have to offer, but somehow I th think it will help you find what I seek. Okay. I got it. Interesting. X marks the spot. <laughs> yeah, you kind of have to look for stuff like this. Oh, I forgot about this one. I forget how to do this. And you can get from these. Can't there be walnuts in these sometimes? Yeah, it's something to do with the watering can, but what do I do with the watering can is what I mean. That's the part I don't remember. <laughs> Um, just water him. Oh, that's it. Okay, that's no problem. That's no problem. I thought it was gonna be harder than that. <laughs> I remembered that part. I just thought there was more to it. <laughs> I thought there was more to it than that. Okay. I think I'll just let myself pass out on the island again today. 
Second Will Empire ship yet? No, we literally have been here like one day. <laughs> so I haven't done all of them yet, no. Um, there's some that I don't really 100% remember. It's been like kind of a while since I've been here. But I know there's one in the pirate ship, but there we go. Thank you. You like filling this farm with trees to get tons of wood. Interesting. I like filling this farm with um with ancient fruit. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> All right. Chop, chop. I don't really need to do all of this today, but. Another one in that far right upper corner of the rocks where you just were. Yeah, I know. So here's the thing, you guys. I'm kind of like half asking for advice, but also half not because I'm not trying to get all of them, all of them right now. I'm kind of mostly just, this is like the first time that we've been to the island, so I'm kind of just like looking around and stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm not trying to like speed run get all of them. Um, so advice is appreciated, but also like, <laughs> uh, give me a sec, <laughs> you know? Uh, there's plenty that I remember too, I just haven't done them yet and all these things, so. Anyway. Yeah, we know it's the same in Stardew Valley Expanded, but a lot of people haven't ever seen the island before, and also it's been a while since I played on the island, so it's kind of fun to just look around and stuff. Um, but anyway, Liv, thank you for the 27 month free sub. Thank you so much. Okay. Gotta start chopping some of this wood down too. I'm trying to get some more materials because I want to make sure that we have stuff to start building out this farm. Walnut. Now it's getting late. It's funny, some of them are like really obvious. <laughs> and other ones are a little bit more sneaky. It's kind of fun. Do you have a date for the Stardew update? Oh no, there's not any news about when the update's gonna come out, I don't think. Not any specific news, at least. Um, I'm trying to remember. I can't see anything, which is a little inconvenient. <laughs> There's no point trying to do this right now. I don't remember where most of the like little hidden passageways are and, oh, there you go. I don't remember how to get to that. Can you just go around the side? Surely not. Oh, you can. <laughs> you can. I can't see. <laughs> I can't see to do it. This is way harder than I thought. Okay. What the update is supposed to be? Um, we know a couple things. There's not a ton of information about the Stardew update. Um, it's gonna be 1.6 and he's been talking about a handful of things, but there's not that many specifics, nor is there that many, um, that much news on when, so. Yeah, and he's still work working on Haunted Chocolates here. He posted a picture of it yesterday on Twitter, um, which is kind of fun. I can show you. Concerned Ape is the person who made this game, and he's working on an update and working on a new game. I show you. Look at this. He posts such, like, vague things on Twitter. This literally just says, here's the Haunted Chocolatier screen. grandpa <laughs> he posted the other a while ago just iridium scythe it's like so mysterious it looks cool though doesn't it anyway grandpa's back looking forward to it i'm really 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 curious about the game i'm like actually genuinely really excited about it this grandpa has a nicer bed <laughs> he does doesn't he uh oh we're about to pass out again uh-oh. Um, let's 
start grabbing all this. No, nope, never mind. Too late. Anna, Kit Kat, Liv, Cozy, thank you for the subs. You remember the scythe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. I made 110 gold. Does he have an Insta? I can't do Twitter. I don't think so. I wish that he posted on Instagram and not Twitter too. <laughs> don't get me wrong, but I think I'm maxed with Abigail already. Let me just check. Oh, I'm not. Okay, I gotta give Abigail a birthday gift too. Hello. Can't believe we're parents, Kayla. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. Found me slumbering, blah, blah, blah. Really check Twitter these days? Yeah, I'm the same way, Christine. I'm not really on Twitter all that often these days. Um, we're, we're missing out on a lot of stuff <laughs> a lot of times, but Twitter is kind of, I don't know. I was always kind of like, Twitter kind of scared me sometimes. And then now this whole Elon Musk thing has happened and it's ruined, so. I'm not really on there at all, but anyway. Which days do I play Sims? Oh, literally all of them except today. <laughs> I'm sorry, Raina, you caught us at a bad time if you're here for Sims, but I'll be I'll be live playing Sims tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that and the day after that, you know? I mostly only play Sims on stream with the occasional uh, other cozy game peppered in, but for the most part, it's all Sims. All Sims all time. Oh, I'm not streaming on Friday, that's right. It's my mom's birthday, so I can't stream on Friday. But the day after that, so. Get your political news from Twitter. You know, Trish, I um, I had to stop allowing myself to read up about politics on Twitter at all because the way that people used to, well, I guess they still do. I just don't let myself read it anymore. I, I find myself like getting enraged <laughs> by the replies on a lot of tweets like that. Um, and like the ignorance in the replies specifically. So I had to make myself stop. Um, Cause it was stressing me out too much. <laughs> I was letting myself get too mad. Um, but anyway. Um, okay, a couple things that I can use. Well, I guess I don't have enough Plants, do I? Relate to that a lot? Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> it's just really annoying <laughs> having to read all these people's opinions. I used to block so many random people, like like an extreme number of random people on Twitter. I would see a bad take, block. <laughs> I used to do it so often. And then this one time, <laughs> This one time, this person came to my stream. She was like, you blocked me on Twitter for no reason. I went to follow you and you blocked me. I've never even seen you on Twitter before. They're not a Sims account. I went to her account to find out what it was. I don't know what specifically she said that I saw, but let's just say her Twitter. Yikes. <laughs> so, not surprised I blocked that person, but it, it was kind of funny how it came up because they were mad that I blocked them and I had to go and check to see why. Oh, that's why. <laughs> anyway, I don't remember exactly Tilly. There was a whole bunch of things. But yeah, I wish that I knew what the specific, what, what the specific cause of the block was because I'd be curious to find out, but too late now. Blocking is healthy, it is. Protect your peace. I don't block people that are specifically mean to me. I block like strangers. Cause when people are mean to me on Twitter, I try to ignore it. Um, so I don't usually block simmers, but I'll block like strangers <laughs> usually. Um, okay. Shall we go back to the island again? I have to give Abigail a present and stuff. You block conservatives. Yeah, exactly. Me too. <laughs> That's kind of the thing. A lot of people on TikTok all the time. Yeah, I um, I don't block that many people on TikTok. I keep pressing the not interested button um, for videos that pop up, but some of the people in TikTok comments, I mean, anyway. 
people complain about getting blocked. I, you know, I, I gotta be honest. Sometimes when people post about getting blocked, I, I understand that sometimes you get blocked for no reason by people. I get it. But if I was blocked, I would keep my mouth shut. I would never admit to being blocked because in my experience, most of the time when I block people, oh, I've got a good reason, you know? So like if a person blocked me and people do block me, <laughs> people who hate me don't like me so they block me uh but it like i would never be like oh my god you blocked me and like post it on twitter ted cruz has you blocked on twitter <gasps> krista that's beautiful i have a lot of politicians blocked on twitter ron DeSantis blocked blocked <laughs> that's a flex though <laughs> Ted Cruz blocked you? Can I ask what you did? It's my proudest moment. <laughs> We're all very impressed, Krista. Very, very impressed. <laughs> Let me through. Someone in your parents' neighbor has a DeSantis sign in their yard. Oh my God, Christine, I, sorry, that's disgusting. I've never heard something worse in my life. Whew, wow. In Ohio. I guess, I mean, he's running for president. Not very well, but. <sighs> anyway, sorry, we don't need to talk about that man. We don't need to talk about the rat man. Who's that Ted person? Ted Cruz? Oh, nightmare politician. Do they, Christine? Mm. I actually don't, I haven't seen any um, DeSantis signs nearby my house, which is lucky. Um, okay, so now it's daytime again. <laughs> we can see things. We can look around a bit more. So... Up here, maybe. I forget how exactly to get... There we go. Um, I got that one already. We can try and come over here. Get this one too. All right. You need to leave soon? Oh, Christine, I'm so sorry. Like, genuinely, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, Kat and Raz and Molly and Akashiro, thank you for the subs. Okay, maybe I chop this. Yeah, Jill, people put, oh, here we go. Right behind my face, there's gonna be one. Um, people put political signs up, I guess, relatively often. Um, I know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Do you think I should pay for this? I should pay for the house first instead of that. That's terrible. I shouldn't do that. Um, but people do put political signs up. I don't know. I, I personally, I have never put a political sign up. Um, oh, I thought I was down. I thought I was in there. I'm not. I'm just running into the wall. I don't remember how to get... Over here. Do you have to come like up from the side or something? I don't know. I think I walked past one behind the tree. Oh, really? I walked past one. Oh, do you mean, are you talking about like these? I'm trying to figure out how to get there. No, behind a tree. Okay. <laughs> Do you mind sharing where at all? I can't get over here yet. Second palm tree on the right. Okay. Christine with the 65 months. I don't want to go to the dentist. Bye. Oh, this one. I did walk by a palm uh, thing on the behind a tree. Yeah, Sarah, that's the thing. I, I don't know if I would ever put up like a, 
a pro-specific politician sign. I just can't, I just can't imagine myself being like a fan of a politician. Like, I, I will vote for you, Joe Biden, but I'm not your fan. <laughs> like, I, you, you are doing a job. Like, I, I don't know. It's just, I, I would never put like, anyway. And I'll sit here and I'll, I'll say a lot of good things online and encourage people to vote for you, but I'm still not your fan. Like, we're not friends, Joseph. Like, <laughs> I just, I don't know. Um, so I, I wouldn't do that. You're sad today? I'm sorry. Anyway. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, how many more do you think I can get? I think I've gotten some down here. If there's any more obvious ones, that would be good. I know you can get some by fishing. So that could potentially be an idea. No, maybe I'll fish in this little set of bubbles. Yay. Think it's dangerous to be a fan of a Part of your politician. Yeah, I agree. I don't think that being fans of individual politicians like that is a good idea. Um, but anyway. Oh, that's so cute! Oh my god, I just got a baby fish! In Sweden, nobody would put a politi politician sign? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's very, it is kind of a weird thing. It's Something kind of scary about a lot of places in America is like, when you, speaking from my personal Floridian experience, you you drive like through the middle of the state, um, like kind of in the like countryside basically, but it's the swamp. Um, <laughs> and um, there's, there's like all kinds of like, we're talking like Trump billboards. Like people have a lot of land out there and they'll put like Trump billboards up which is kind of scary, I think. Um, it's really, really strange and alarming. Um, okay, I'm gonna go up to the volcano again and see what we can do up there. But I think that's very common in a lot of places. I just know about my specific area. <laughs> well, that's the thing, Krista, like a pride flag isn't, isn't the same thing. I guess some people might view it as being like political in that way, but it isn't the same thing as like a, you know, Ron DeSantis, <laughs> like, like name of a politician. Um, so can you fish one up from in here? Do I remember that correctly? Oh, it's over to the side. Never mind. Oh, that's not the right place. I put too much. This way, this way. This way, this way. Okay. Die. I have a slime ring. What am I doing? Sorry, everyone. <laughs> That's how I did it. There we go. Okay. I was trying to remember how you got over here. Now I have 20, I can build the house. I'm probably gonna kill you, I'm sorry. All right. Oh. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to come this way. <laughs> I meant to go, oh, hold on. I meant to go down. I knew I was forgetting something. Okay. Is that all? I think that's the best I can do for right now. Rosie, thank you for the 15 month free sub. Do I have any tattoos? I don't have any tattoos, no. Um. Okay. 
Oh yeah, Westy, it really is. I don't know. I haven't think. I don't think I've seen anybody nasty today. Sometimes we bring up politics and the <laughs> they come out of the woodwork. It's kind of scary. <laughs> It's like they were obviously lurking and then we pushed it too far back, especially during like um, a couple years ago, like more in the height of COVID when like the vaccines were first coming out. Oh my God, you should have seen the the number of people we had to ban on a daily basis was so wild. <laughs> it was like actually kind of scary. Um, it was it was too much. It was too much. <sighs> Like literally, we're talking like actually constant. And it would be, I wouldn't, I mean, I know that I sometimes like say things that sort of poke the beast and I'll be like, anti-vaxxers are stupid. <laughs> you know, like I'll, I'll say things a bit more aggressive, but sometimes it'd be like, oh, I'm getting my booster shot tomorrow. Cut to like five people. You're gonna die. Why are you promoting the vaccine to your vulnerable audience of children? What's wrong with you? I trusted you. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, the internet is wild. Absolutely wild. But it's kind of scary. It's like, do you even know where you are? We would be like, I'm not even kidding. We would be doing this during like my charity stream for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And I'd be like talking about my dad who has cancer and being like, yeah, by the way, vaccine so important. And then they would come into my chat and then act like I was being horrible. <laughs> Do you, read the room. Do you understand where you are right now? Like this is a charity stream for a children's hospital in the middle of a pandemic. And also my dad has cancer. <laughs> like, uh. Anyway. It's funny. We don't get a lot of the anti-vax people anymore. Um, but. It certainly comes up on occasion, so. Lionfish. Well, you banned all of them? That's true. <laughs> They're all banned now. Now they still come out sometimes, but not that often. Not that often. Intense conversations today. Yeah, these things happen when we play Stardew Valley because it's easier to read the chat, so it, things come up more, I guess. Super cucumber, are you hope? That's nice. Okay. <laughs> well, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> oh, another walnut. Okay, good. That's two. I think, can you catch, is it like six walnuts that you can fish up? I forget exactly how many that you can fish up. But there's some. Oh, that's three that I fished up. There you go. Ames, thank you for the six months. And Decade, thank you for the subs too. Oh boy. It's five. Oh, it's five, not six. Oh, look, I got a giant one and a tiny one. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. Um, I think that, hmm. I'm gonna put some of this stuff in a chest over here and start saving them because we'll need to start building up some more storages of wood here on the island. So. Okay. Oh, Souffle, I'm sorry. The bot deletes messages that are too long. You didn't do anything wrong. You, it's just um, the bot, the bot deletes. Messages with too many characters because of, we've talked about this before, but um, sometimes people put uh, really long, like, coffee and pasta um, things, and sometimes they're, they're images, <laughs> and they are not good. Does that make sense at all to you? Sometimes they're, they're inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of scary. 
There was one um, back when Among Us was kind of like the the big game on Twitch, like the main one all the big streamers were playing it. And it was like an Among Us character, um, like a little crewmate. And, and it, it had private parts. I remember um, when the a bunch of the big streamers did that Among Us stream playing with AOC. Um, they had like hundreds of thousands of viewers. Um, and then people kept spamming that and no one was deleting it. <laughs> anyway. Kind of interesting, huh? Oh, passed out. I wanted to go home, so <laughs> I wasn't gonna sleep in the new house yet. You still see it occasionally? Yeah, so long story short, I, I try to uh, prevent that from happening in my chat. And sometimes it gets messages that are a little bit too long, but it's okay. <laughs> It's better than a, uh, you know. Oh, I'm here. Oh, never mind. I didn't need to pass out because I'm still here. Okay, well that false alarm, I guess. <laughs> um, I can plant these. These need to grow near a body of water. Do you remember? Does anybody remember how far the water spreads for them to count? Three spots? Okay. So I can put them like here. Cute. Okay, guys, I'm gonna be so brave right now. And I'm gonna try again with that thing. Unless you wanna go into the mines. Should we go into the mines? We're here in the morning. Oh my god, let's go into the mines. I'll leave the lucky ring behind. Volcano mines. We're here all day. May as well. Do you need actually 21 months? Eat this. All right. Oh, really, Sandlin? That's so fun. I love building apartments um, in The Sims. They're really fun to do. One of my faves. The volcano mines stress you out, really? I kind of like them. Um, oh, hey, Izzy, welcome in. Yeah, we play a lot of Sims here, but uh, I usually stream in the morning on Wednesdays. Um, and sometimes I do a little bit of farming on Wednesdays <laughs> in the mornings. So that's what we were up to today. Um, oh, Hope, that would be so cool. I like that idea, like a pair of old brownstones and then in the modern version, they combine it into one big house. That's cute. We should, okay, write that down. <laughs> Danny, thank you for the gift of subs, by the way. Ooh, pineapple seeds. Those are my first ones. That's fun. That's fun. Off we go. Okay, so if we see any, specifically any of these guys, I need more of the shards. And as like a modern extension, yeah, that would be so cool. I would really like that. Um, did I hear about Joe and Sophie? Yeah, I did. It makes me sad hearing about celebrities uh, breaking up and getting divorced. That sucks. It's just, I don't know. And it sucks how it's like major gossip too. I think that I have, um, I guess like a soft spot for, and this is such a weird thing to say because I am not a celebrity, <laughs> but as a person who's in like a sort of public relationship, I just can't help but think about how like actually miserable, miserable it would be to go through a public breakup on like even a small scale like I'm on right now. And then you add in like their massive level of fame and like kids into the mix. It just, it really, really sucks. <laughs> um, that's Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner. They're um, celebrities, so. Anyway, I just feel bad. It just sucks. Anything interesting there? No. I don't really know much about how that stuff works. I saw people talking about how like there are different camps were like linking things to the press on purpose and things, but I don't know. He's like 
probably trying to leak the things now to make her look bad, which also just sucks, and everything about it is just bad. I don't know. I don't know. It sucks. All right. How many- do you guys remember how many of these crystals I'm gonna need? <laughs> Ooh, far morph totem. That's good. I have Jonas Brothers concert tickets next month. <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> they're coming to Orlando, 20 to 30. Oh, that's not bad at all. Okay. I had in my head that I needed 50, so we can handle 30. Die. Oops. Some of them cried, oh my gosh. I used to love the Jonas Brothers when I was a kid. I'll admit, I haven't really been following them that closely as an adult, but I used to love them as a kid, so. 30 to enchant and 20 to forge, okay. That's fine, that's doable. I'm taking too long, I probably shouldn't. All right. Rax, thank you for the sub, thank you so much. All right. Oh my god, speaking of the Jonas Brothers. So my um, my parents' credit card got stolen last week. Um, they had given it to my sister because her friend was in town. Um, so they let her, my sister borrow it to um, like go out to dinner with her friend. And uh, she lost it, which is fine. It's okay, Shanna. But anyway, someone took it and started like making fraudulent charges on it. Um, they've like canceled it, everything's okay, it's fine. Uh, but the first thing they did, they went to a bar then they went to Waffle House at like 3 a.m. <laughs> and then they charged like $600 at Best Buy, which got declined, and another like $350 on Lululemon. Uh, but they went to a, a local bar and then Waffle House. <laughs> and we know that was them because my sister was home when it happened. Like it wasn't her doing it. If you guys are gonna be like, maybe she went to a bar and pretended that it wasn't her. No, a person stole it. But <laughs> uh, they went to a Waffle House and a bar and then and charged like $1,000 online, so. <laughs> Quite the escalation. <laughs> yeah, definitely probably I would say a college student because we live kind of near UCF, but um, But Lululemon, yeah, it's uh, it's like a clothing store <sighs> Waffle House in my opinion is like an objectively funny thing to spend a stolen credit card on um, But the reason that it made me um, the reason that it made me laugh is Because I was like pulling up to my parents neighborhood uh, to drop off uh, my parents cats medicine from the vet <laughs> and Waffle House came on <laughs> from the Jonas Brothers in my car um, in the same morning that the the after the incident with the Waffle House fraudulent charges so we were all kind of laughing about that um, okay Go away! Oh my god, this level sucks. I'm being kind of slow. I need to press these buttons. Multiple of these buttons, in fact. It was the Jonas Brothers that stole it. Could you imagine if Joe Jonas stole my mom's credit card? I think you have enough money, Joe Jonas. Do you need my mom's credit card? It's kind of messed up. Oh no. I need to go and press this button. Okay. Oh, I got a sapling! Oh, I got a mango sapling! Cool! Very, very cool. Um, oh, I didn't get enough water. I didn't really think about refilling my water, which was maybe foolish of me. Can you guys please leave me alone? I'm sick and tired of this. 
Have I ever played Minecraft? Fretland, Minecraft's one of my favorite games ever. So I, I've played a fair bit of it in my day. I don't really stream it that often, but I've yes, I've played a fair amount of Minecraft. Another walnut! Oh god, I'm messing this up. It's already like 440. Let me out, 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 let me out. Okay. Dad, you're lying about that. <laughs> Don't tell lies about the cat and the dogs. I know they have not met yet. Stop telling people stuff like that. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh my God. You're going to say how cute? No, they haven't met yet. <laughs> they have not met the dogs yet. That's gonna be another slow introduction, let me tell you. <laughs> I knew you would respond to that. Dad, you can't. People are gonna like believe you when you say things like this. <laughs> I believed your dad, I'm ashamed. No, no, he hasn't met the dogs yet. You will, but not yet. That's not really a first 24 hours sort of activity. <laughs> In my opinion, I think maybe we should hold off on that one a little. <laughs> Where's the button on this stupid level? Ugh. Oh, it's over there. Sorry, false alarm. I'm getting a little dramatic. All right. Oh, Dad, that's another question. People, I found out that Sewer Sam is a video game character from a long time ago. Did you know that? When you suggested that we name the cat that? Okay. Um, let's see. Oops. And then we come around here. Oh, I need to press a button for this first. Never mind. False alarm. Is it either of these? It's probably one of the ones over there. This is horrible! Die! Oh my god, I hate this! I've had enough, I've had enough. I hate these little flames, they're so, so annoying. Mummified bat. When I grew up in Chicago, Fishing Lake Michigan. Oh, you called salmon Sammies. Yeah, we know that part, Dad. So that was just a random, random choice related to fish, really? Okay. No clue about any Sammy video game, <laughs> okay. Oh, over there, I see. I got it. Took me long enough. Oh my goodness. So the name is still related to fish? Yeah, my sister keeps calling him Salmon. She like falls for it. It's really terrible. Phoenix Ring. Once a day, regain some health after being knocked out in combat. That's not really for me. <laughs> Tier 3, 27 months, and Lavender, thank you for the for the reset too. Samantha as well, thank you so much. This is wild. Finally made it up here. Oops, I clicked off of it. Hello? Chuckle, few, few adventurers have scaled Mount Colder once a great dwarf kingdom? Your achievement is a testament to your ambition and perseverance? 
Behind me is a lava-fed furnace capable of enchanting weapons and tools. It can even combine the divine properties of magical rings. A suiting reward for someone of your stature? You just married Lance? Really? I trust you'll make good use out of this ancient dwarfish relic, Kayla? The first slash sends their regards? Dad, I know what a sunfish is. <laughs> they are cool. You know how I know? Because I caught them in Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I know about a sunfish. <laughs> so... <laughs> See, video games are educational. Alright. Here we go. Um... Should I... Do you think combining my slime ring with the iridium band would be good? Or no? What should I enchant first, my pickaxe? I can only do one today. What do we got? Efficient! Oh, that's pretty good. We can do that. Now I got a fancy ring. You like waiting for the lucky rings? Yeah, I have a lucky ring. I'm gonna combine it with um, something else probably though. I didn't bring it with me, but I do have a lucky ring. I got excited and I wanted to do it today. I'm free. No. No. Can you combine as many rings as you want? I don't think you can combine a combined ring. So I don't think I could combine a ring that's already been combined. I missed your sub. Annette! Oh, I did? I'm so sorry! And it's your 69 month resub! <laughs> I didn't read it out loud! I'm so sorry, Annette! 69 months. Should I do this? I think I will. Nice! <laughs> nice! That's fun. Okay. Um. I'm gonna save this guy. Don't mind me. Wish we had more ring slots. I have ten fingers and can only wear two rings. <laughs> you thought you were done for? Been stuck in this cave for months? I'm sorry, buddy. I got you. All as well. One more cave mushroom salad and I would have gone off the deep end. So rubbery. Yeah, I don't like mushrooms either, buddy. I totally get you. Anyway, I'm Professor Snail. I've been conducting a survey of this island's flora and fauna for the last year. Truly a remarkable place. I think I'll go back to my tent and freshen up a little. I'm afraid I smell like mushrooms. Okay. You should stop by the tent sometime. An enterprising individual like yourself could be a major asset in my projects. Yeah, I got you, Bessie. Let's get some of this. Um, this is not bad at all. Ooh. That one looked good. Okay. Fossilized leg. Prehistoric scapula! I need that! This is going very well. The volcano holds many secrets. I've seen little men with glowing eyes skittering about in the dark, like cats in the night. Could these be the fabled dwarf men mentioned by Mr. Jasper in Famous Journeys? M. Jasper, sorry. Strange machines, too. Uncanny. Not like anything known to man. At the top, I found a passage to the caldera of the volcano, and half-submerged in the bubbling lava, a peculiar machine. A kind of forge. Yeah, I've been there, so I know. Don't worry. Ooh. Let me get rid of probably these little pieces of sap and this. Hi, Miv. How are you? We're gaming today. Hope you're doing well. Oh, clay. That's actually kind of useful. What about you? No? What about you? No? 
What about you? 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 It's getting late again. I could spend ages in the island, like all day. Easily. I haven't gotten this one yet either. One. <laughs> Cute. All right, let me just grab quickly the rest of this. Oh yeah, I've, I've uh, gotten a perfection run in Stardew Valley before. I've played this game a lot. It's been a, I, that was, I did that like right when um, the, this update first came out. So it's been a while since I did perfection run, but yeah, I've, I've done it before. Um, okay, it is 1.10 AM. Are the kids out soon? Yeah, the kids come out tomorrow. So we'll probably end up playing with them on stream. I was originally gonna play Sims 3 tomorrow, but now the kids are coming out, so it's rearrange. Come in. Hello, Professor Snail. Here we go with Jen. Thanks for the resub. Uh, and Ida and Jules and Mar, thank you for the subs too. Welcome to my field office. As you can see, it's quite empty. Getting stuck in that cave was a huge setback to my project. But that's where you come in, hee hee. <laughs> I'm in the bone business, you see. Ancient bones in particular, and this island is full of them. So if you ever encounter any bones, fossils, or mummified specimen on this island, bring them to my desk, okay? I'll make it worth your while. I kind of like him. Legend. I did it. One walnut. Snake spines that you found in the western region of the island. Okay. I'm gonna pass out again. I already have that prehistoric rib. I need that. Any suggestions to finish a perfection run without burning out? Um, I'm really bad when it comes to questions of burnout in games because I, I'm a little obsessive. So I've never struggled to finish a perfection run in Stardew. <laughs> I also, um, it was only one time that I did it, but all, people ask me that about Sims all the time. They're like, how do you, I'm feeling burnout on the Sims. Any ideas? And I'm always like, uh, play a challenge. I don't know. <laughs> I'm terrible. Cause I, I'm like, so, so into it that I don't really, you know, my lucky ring was there. That's annoying. Um, okay, I'm gonna plant a couple of these things here. I have a lovely mango sapling now. Can't be planted here. Oh. And then... My guy. Pink juicy thing. Okay, I can make you some melons. <laughs> I can do that. I can do that. All right, I'm gonna go back home. Yeah, the money grind for the clock is kind of a problem, but if you start early enough, I don't think it's too, too bad. Um, that's kind of what I've experienced too. Mahogany seed. All right, I'm going back home. It's been lovely today, but we need to go back to the farm. You're 10k away from getting the Return Scepter for the first time? Oh, that's so fun. That's so fun. If I played BitLife? No, I've never actually played BitLife. My dad is sending me a picture of a sunfish. I can, I can show you guys on stream. Dad, I really want to emphasize, Sunny is not named after a fish. Shrimp is. There's no way around that. Sunfish are weird though. Dad, have you ever seen one of these in real life? Please still be here and please respond. Same eyes. Oh my god! <laughs> You're right! Oh, they have the same eyes! Oh no! Dad, we were asking if you've seen a sunfish in real life before. OK, 
Okay, Lock, you maybe don't know what we're talking about, but basically, I obviously a shrimp's not a fish. <laughs> uh, you see sunfish a lot, Dad. My parents have this thing where they've named all of their pets after fish, and I always thought it was so stupid. And then we were kind of joking about how I finally got a cat of my own, and I named it Shrimp. <laughs> and then we were laughing because, like, there's a sunfish, and the other one's name is Sunny. Sam. Salmon. <sighs> Even Frank. There's a thing called a Frank fish. I looked it up. So, it, like, I have unintentionally kept the theme, even despite actively trying not to. That's the joke. <laughs> So, anyway, <laughs> shrimp's a good name though. I stand by it. A shrimp! I got one. I stand by it. Are we keeping the two kittens? Are we not sure yet? Um, so, Clara, I have kept Sunny and Shrimp. Frank and Sam moved to my parents' house yesterday. Um, that's kind of the big cat update, is they've gone to their forever home my parents' house as of yesterday. So, when you first told the names, you thought I was going for fish names? I wasn't! I was going for S names, because it was like S like a sewer. Sewer Sam, sewer shrimp, you know. Well, yeah, there's a fish called Snapper. That's the thing, and I think it's stupid. <laughs> I don't like that my cat is named that. I don't like her name. <laughs> I think it's it's dumb. No offense. That's why her name is Snap. Snap. I don't like the name Snapper. So that's kind of the joke, is that I, I never liked it. <laughs> I think Snapping Turtle is a cuter reference than Snapper. Anyway, I unintentionally kept with the theme by accident. That wasn't what I wanted, but that's what happened. Okay, I'm here to process this. Give me something new. I think I already had that. Yeah, I did. That's okay. That is okay. Guys. Guys. Now what's that? I couldn't come up here before, could I? Is this newly open to me? I don't think it would let me in here before. Huh. Or two hearts. I like seeing his little house. They gave him a room. That's so cute. Okay, well, I think after this, oh, you guys are asking what kind of a fish Pogi is? A stupid bait fish. It's actually P-O-G-Y, but I think that word is ugly, so I spell it P-O-G-I-E. But it's a fish. Lemon's name was always Lemon, like at the, where we got him at the shelter, but guess what? There's a lemon shark. So my parents said, oh, it's so funny, we can keep it. Anyway. <laughs> Lemon sharks are cute though, I agree. I agree. All right, we have to go home. Oh, I should have left these at the island. I wasn't thinking. Oh well, now you're just googling fish, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Did I miss anybody's birthday yesterday? No, but it is Sandy's birthday, oh my goodness, we have to go. All right, Sophie, thank you for the 28 months, thank you so much. I'll show you Lemon Shark, because they're kind of cute. Oh, well, <laughs> look. So cute! Aren't you so cute? Look at you! Aww, it's so cute! Aww. <laughs> Sharks are so weird. I like them. And whale sharks? <laughs> I call the cat whale, could you imagine? <laughs> Hi everyone, here's my cat, whale. <laughs> 
The Stardew Valley Fair is happening tomorrow. Oh boy. All right. Um, I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff in this chest that I need to bring back to the island, probably. So like, those things. Are you and your siblings an after fish? No, thankfully not. Thankfully not. That would be bad. Imagine my name was like, I don't know, Trout. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, that would not be good. Tuna. <laughs> Your puppy's name is Finn. Finn's a cute name, I like that. Anyway. Let me come in here and see if any of this stuff is ready. You had a coworker with cats named Tuna and Trout? That's kind of cute. Everybody really likes Shrimp's name. Everybody keeps talking about it. When they see it, like the vet will be like, oh my god, Shrimp, that's so cute. No one says anything about the other two cats' names though. But everybody's like, oh my god, Shrimp, oh my god, Shrimp, that's so cute, Shrimp. <laughs> Every time. Oh. You call your two cats fishes and you have no idea how that started? I call my cat Worm. And then I guess these two cats have become the rats. <laughs> but they're like little sewer rats, so it counts, right? Anyway, not even Frankie. No, whenever someone sees Frankie, they'll be like, oh, you hope she was a boy? Like, that's always the response. Here's the thing, I named Frankie. My sister is the one who's been feeding her and taking care of her when she was a stray because she's near my parents' house. But I'm the one who was like, we should call her Frankie. And my hope deep in my heart was that she was a girl and she'd have like a cool rock star name and her name would be Frankie. That's what I wanted. Frankie, that was the goal. But everybody's like, oh, you thought that she was a boy and her name was gonna be Frank. No, they thought she was a boy. I didn't and I was right. Frankie is a very good gender neutral name though, I think, which is part of why I picked it. Works for anybody, but I, I hoped that she would be a girl. <laughs> that was my dream, is that she would be a girl, and she was. I never could have possibly dreamt that she would have all these kittens. That was a real surprise, but <laughs> I'm not mad about that either. <laughs> anyway. Her name is Frank. Franklin, Frank, she goes by all, all of the above. But yeah, I think of Frankie as being a good gender neutral name. Um, hence why it was suggested, because it would work no matter what. Okay. Um, slowly working on turning all of those things. Francesca Frankie, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I need to go to the store and buy some more seeds and then I need to go to the desert and give a present. Maybe I will start there. She likes flowers. I guess at the desert I could buy some more of the beets. <laughs> That'll be good. Your mom's name is Francesca. Francesca's a pretty name. When I, when I hear Francesca, I unfortunately think of Bridgerton because I just read Francesca's book <laughs> from the Bridgerton series. By the way, I don't know about those books. I've read all of them now and I didn't leave any of them thinking, wow, I liked that book. <laughs> it was more of like a, oh, I liked that book more than the last one, but I didn't like it. <laughs> but I wanted to read them because I liked the show. So I wanted to read the Bridgerton books. Um, but yeah, I, I wasn't obsessed with any of them. So, I got 14 hearts with my wife. Um, I wanted, Sandy and I are doing quite well. Does this mean I can't buy stuff from you, Sandy? Oh, never mind. Well, you didn't like the first season, Midas. I actually, like, I genuinely really liked the Bridgerton show. It's such, it's the right amount of, like, silly. Um, 
I, I like I like a period drama, <laughs> despite how inaccurate some things in it can be. I think that it's cool in Bridgerton how I, I like the casting they've done. I just I really I like the show. I thought it was fun. Um, there was a little bit, a lot of sex in the show. If we're being completely honest, don't watch it with your parents. It'll you'll be scared. Um, <laughs> but um, to read an entire book in hours. Yeah, I know, Dad. Thanks. <laughs> okay, what should I plan? Um, we're running out of options. I could do some more sunflowers because they make good gifts. Um, maybe artichokes? That'd be good. Somehow read chat and play a game. Dad, you get better at it the more you do it. You like Bridgerton more than Queen Charlotte? I still haven't watched Queen Charlotte, if I'm being honest. Maybe I'll start watching that this week. I keep saying that, but maybe I will. I don't know. I've been reading a lot in the past few weeks with the kittens around because I'll sit in their room with them and read. Oh my God, I have to show you. <laughs> okay, I have to show you the absolute funniest video on the planet. So. <laughs> The other day, this is a couple nights ago. No, you're gonna you're gonna love this. Um, I'm ashamed to admit that I started reading a Colleen Hoover book. I've I've he heard so many terrible things about it. Everyone's like, oh my god, why would you read that? Well, I'm curious. Okay, that's why I want to read it. Anyway, so I started reading. Um, it ends with us. I didn't get very far because the cats objected. <laughs> Wait until you see this video. I was sitting on the floor with them in their room. I'm gonna pull it up so I can show you. Just give my PC a second. Anyway, I was sitting on the floor with them in their room. Look at this. No. <laughs> no. They started like messing with the books. Then they started chewing on the book. <laughs> I, I've read a lot of books with them. Like on my Kindle and physical books. They've never messed with them. This one. Look, he's going to bite it. <laughs> Look, watch, watch, watch. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you pulled my bookmark out. They said, no, don't read this. This is trash. <laughs> they object, they object. Anyway, it was really funny that they did that. I let them do it, obviously. I could have stopped them, but it was funny to me, so I let them. <laughs> I haven't finished the book yet. I, I, I read, like, I don't know. It, I was only, like, a chapter in when this happened, and then I didn't, I didn't pick it back up yet, but... Um, <laughs> I don't really have thoughts because I haven't gotten that far. I really had like literally just started. Like I set it down for a second. I like went in there to read and they stopped me. <laughs> so they were very funny about it though. I thought that was so cute. I thought you would like it. <laughs> they can't even read. Hilarious of you to try to stop me. Oh, I didn't buy enough. Oh no. Oh, I forgot there was two levels to this. Uh oh, I have to go back. Uh oh, I'll be waiting for a review of it. Yeah, maybe I'll read some more of it today. I'll let you know. I didn't read anything yesterday and that the cat thing happened on Monday, so. <laughs> yeah, Colleen Hoover got really hyped. I don't know, um, a lot of my friends were like, don't read that book. <laughs> uh, but I'm kind of curious, like I don't really care. I'll spend time reading bad things. I don't really mind, so I'm just intrigued. <laughs> Your grandma read it? Oh my. What did she think? Read a Court of Thrones and Roses. I have I have them, Kath. Those are those are part of the stack of books that's on my nightstand that I haven't read yet. I know that I'm gonna like it. But I have I'm I'm gonna. <laughs> the book isn't bad. In your opinion, it's just sad to you. Interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna read them next. That's like, literally I'm reading this Colleen Hoover book and then I'm gonna read those. <laughs> no Throne of Glass. I also have Throne of Glass in my stack of my nightstand. I don't talk about my nightstand stack of books that often because I'm embarrassed, but both are in my stack. I've been reading a lot of bad books recently. So I, I um, I've got some good ones ready. <laughs> anyway, how tall is the stack? Just asking. 
27. But the thing is, I got a Kindle, so I started reading books, like I had these physical books, and then I started reading books on my Kindle. Like different books, like I got books that I didn't have physical copies of. I don't want to talk about it! A couple of them are series though! Anyway, my nightstand, it's like, there's like a, a shelf on the bottom and the drawer. I've got books all on the shelf, and then I have books on the top as well. <laughs> Uh, my nightstand is covered in books. It started with like three that I was like, I'm gonna read these next. And then I just kept putting the books that I wanted to read next there. And now there's a whole bunch of books. And then I got a Kindle and I started reading books on there instead of the physical ones that I already had. And then, yeah. So. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I read a book from Ellie Hazelwood. I read, um, I read Love Theoretically because I saw, um, Kelsey Dangerous read it and put it on her Instagram story and I was like, I'll read that. <laughs> I read Love Theoretically and um, the the summer I turned pretty in the same day. Like I just sat there reading like f for hours and I read them both in the same day. <laughs> I liked Love Theoretically, especially after the summer I turned pretty because I really didn't like that book. So when I read the other one, I was like, wow, that was way better. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, I liked them. I liked that one. So we all have the stack of shame. Yeah. Anyway, so I read, I read that one and I liked it. So I'd like to read more of her books. You couldn't even get through five chapters of that book. Yeah. I wanted to read it cause I was just curious, but I probably wouldn't recommend it. So do I like the show? I haven't seen the show yet. I wanted to read the book first before I watched the show. What was I gonna do next? We've got all this ready. I gave out a birthday gift. Maybe I could try and go give some more birthday gifts. Oh, no, no, no. You know what I need to do? Not birthday gifts, just general gifts. But I need to go to, oops, I need to go to the greenhouse. Um, oh my God, do you see how many truffles are down there? That's horrible. <laughs> too many. Oops. Oops. All right. I came here because, oh, this is very strange, but I came here because I wanted to get, um, oh, I should have planted that sapling that I got in here. What was I thinking? That was very silly of me. Your stack of shame is your unused notebooks. Yeah. <laughs> Family about thank you for the subs. I don't know if I would call my stack of unread books my stack of shame. I have more unread books in here. You can't see them, but I have a bookshelf right there. And I think that's a little bit more shameful because I've had a lot of them for a long time. And they're like not in my stack of books that I want to read right now, you know? So that's kind of, like in here is more of a stack of shame than there is downstairs. The ones downstairs I'm going to read. So I have, you know, shelf of shame, stack of shame. <laughs> We've got both. Oh, I forgot I had another one of these. Good. Let's try that. Have you really, Sierra? That's pretty cool. That's fun. Book acquisition and reading are two different hobbies. <laughs> You're right. You're so right. Yeah, I've gotten like way, I used to, when I was in high school, I used to be like an enormous reader. Like I was, like I would read like sometimes like two books a week when I was in high school. Um, and I kind of fell off from that a little bit um, in the last few years, but like I've been, I've been really back, back in it recently. <laughs> But my, I was talking about uh, about this the other day, actually, because my sister's friend was in town. One of my sister's best friends moved to Pennsylvania, so um, she came back in town for the first time, and it was very exciting because she was here. So they like went to Halloween Horror Nights, and like they were just doing all kinds of fun stuff. Um, and I was joking with Shanna about how like when I was in high school and like when I was her age, when I was like eighteen, when my friends and I hung out, it was like we would go to the Barnes and Noble in the mall to go to the bookstore <laughs> and we would just sit there like in the bookstore for hours. <laughs> we would like get a smoothie at the mall and then just hang out at the Barnes and Noble. <laughs> 
and that was what I did with my friends on the weekends. So it's just kind of funny. I, w I would never go to like Halloween Horror Nights or anything like that. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to get the, uh oh. I didn't mean to harvest you. That's okay, we got enough. You just hang around at the mall? Oh yeah, I think I think all of us used to just hang around at the mall, right? But I specifically would go to the mall for books. So, me and my two friends at the bookstore. <laughs> you used to hang out at Barnes Noble with your now husband when you were dating? Oh, that's so cute. I really like that. Okay. <gasps> Life update, apparently Frank has been playing with Sam. Frank is doing so well. Frank is doing so well at my parents' house. I'm so glad, I'm so glad. They've been playing with the bed sheets and also playing with toys together. That, this just makes my heart like swell. I'm so glad, that is such a relief to me. I was so worried about them, like about the move and stuff, but they've been handling it really well. I actually, honestly, I think that Frank is kind of excited because she, I know, I know that she recognized um, my parents' neighborhood when we were taking her into the house. And I also know that she, like, I, she's been in my parents' house a couple times because they tried to bring her in and she refused. Now we know, oh, she had babies. <laughs> but she was in there, eight, and then I was like, okay, let me out now. So she's been in my parents' living room and in their, and in my sister's bathroom before. So the house is a familiar smell to her. She knows my whole family because she was like being fed by them as a stray. So, um, anyway, she's done, she's handled this very well, this move, which is good. Um, I'm very relieved. Okay. Will Frank be able to see the kittens you kept often enough? No, Frank won't see them ever. <laughs> um, the, so I think a lot of people don't, understand this about cats um they don't they don't play date like they don't uh go on little trips to new places like um that's not really a thing like they the cats are gonna forget about each other and if i tried to introduce them again in like you know six months time or something they would h hate it like that's not um i don't know so like uh cats don't she won't see her babies because they don't want to. Like that's not really cat behavior. Does that make sense? Um, I, it sounds it sounds like if you're familiar with like dogs or if you know you're, you're a human, so you're sort of pushing your human feelings onto them about it. It's sad, but it, they just that's not really how cats are. They're very territorial and stuff. Like it's just not really. Um, they won't do it. But yeah, the moms will support baby till they're independent, and then. And then they go away. <laughs> um, from what I was reading, a lot of uh, rescues obviously will send babies home at like eight weeks, but I was reading a lot of like 10 to 12, 12 to 14 weeks as being the best time to take them away. And the babies are 13 weeks old. So um, it's kind of time, kind of time. So anyway, yeah, it's, it's sad. Cause like we're sort of projecting our own like human, when they see the babies, like, <laughs> um, so anyway, no, they won't, they won't. 12 weeks is better, yeah. Eight weeks is kind of a minimum. Um, anyway. Well, Frank remembers she's Sam's mom. You know, when I was reading about that, it sounds like once they get old enough, she's not gonna like associate them as being her baby. I think she's gonna see Sam as just like another cat in the house. It's not really the same that a lot of us, the way that other pets and humans are and, and things. So it's not really. Um, they get independent quite quickly too, yeah. In Denmark, it's illegal to take kittens from now until 12 weeks old, yeah. So. You have a mom and son catch and see your, him as your kid at all. Your mom hates, your cat hates her son. Oh, good. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> I bring important news from the Ferngill Republic Ministry of Magic. It would appear a high-ranking council member has expressed interest in developing your arcane potential, which isn't a common occurrence. My colleagues have tasked me with teaching you warp magic. Meet me at my tower at your earliest convenience. Oh my god.
And you as well. Good morning, Kayla. I hope I'm not intruding. I had heard from a colleague your family was extraordinary. Their description barely did it justice. This place is breathtaking. Of course, allow me the opportunity to explain why I'm here. I received word from your guild administrator guild that Marlin was looking to contract with a co that Marlin was looking to contract with a combat mage. After reviewing the relevant tasks and missions, I decided to accept. Oh. And I must admit, after we met at Mount Colder's Caldera, you piqued my interest. I'd like to get to know you better, but I travel quite often. So at the risk of being a little forward, here's my schedule. <laughs> oh. We will meet again soon. I'll be taking my leave now, Kayla. But farewell. Bye. Your cat loves playdates. You looked it up and some cats like playdates. Yeah, so here's the thing. In my personal experience, as a person who has grown up with three cats, um, I have Snap, who was one of those three. Snap has had to go home to my parents' house twice in her life since moving out because of hurricanes, because I didn't want to stay alone during a hurricane. So I went to my parents' house with Snap, kept her in my room. Um, the boys tormented her. They cornered her on her desk. Despite me trying to make him not get into the room, this is back when I didn't know Lemon could open doors. So Lemon opened the door and then cornered Snap in my on my desk in my old bedroom. Um, play dates, not the vibe. <laughs> like, she was not going to meet them while we were there. It was going to be like a stay in here during the storm and then go home. This is like an emergency situation. It wasn't like a plan that we did want to have fun, you know? It was supposed to be like a, we're just waiting here because there's a hurricane. But anyway, in my experience, um, uh, cats no play date. <laughs> no, Nessie, she wasn't bullied by the other cats. She just didn't like one of the dogs. It wasn't the cats that she was bullied by. She was friends with the cats. Um, she was not, well, I guess Lemon was a kitten, so she didn't know Lemon that well, but she was friends with Pogi. Um, it was one of the dogs that she didn't like. It was, it was Captain that she didn't like. So, that's why I came home with her. But yeah, so play dates, it's not a common occurrence. Like that is that is like the exception and not the norm. Um if if you think that like your cats like play dates. <laughs> um oh cool. Where should I keep this? Your cat doesn't recognize your other cat after she's been at the vet for two hours. Yeah, see. Um Cats deserves BFFs too. Yeah, but don't, Miv, I think when they're saying that, they're talking about like cats at home. Like um, it's sort of recommended to adopt kittens in pairs um, so that they can have a friend and, and things like that. But not all cats like other cats and obviously kittens are sort of a different story, but. Um, yeah, I don't know about bringing cats out for play days. They don't want to leave the house, a lot of them either, you know? Wait, I just got a letter that I probably should have read. I think it was from Abby. It's, I think it's gonna be her heart event though, which I don't really wanna do. Oh, today is the Stardew Valley Fair. So we have to start thinking about that. Um, I'll bring a prismatic shard. Oh, I don't have any gold quality. That was very foolish of me. <laughs> that was very, very foolish of me. Do I have any good fish? What do you think about a blobfish for the fair? No? Let me look at the Grange display on the wiki. Super cucumber? Oh yeah, duh, I have a gold quality super cucumber. Cucumber, I'm just checking really fast. Fish, fish. Anyway, um, I wanna get maybe like, this isn't an aged wine, but it is a wine. So we could get that. Would a piece of food be good? Oh, cheese. We'll bring cheese. And then I could probably bring some mayo. Um, 
Can I make some dinosaur mayo before I go? Hmm. Uh... Do you think they would like caviar? That's an artisan good and not a food though, isn't it? I think caviar is a good call. Let me bring a purple mushroom. And then... We need three more items. I don't have a legendary fish. I haven't bothered with fishing legendary fish up yet. Um, does it like iridium? I've never tried that, I don't think. That's sort of new to me. Probably not. It does like fancy gems and stuff, right? Diamond? I was gonna bring a prismatic shard. I also, um, maybe I have a gold quality strawberry. Hmm. Oh, I could get a truffle. I don't think I have a gold quality star fruit, annoyingly. I can get iridium quality from these truffles. Probably could get it from milk too. I think, oh my God. <laughs> Do you guys think I have enough truffles? <laughs> goat cheese is better. Yeah, I've got goat cheese in this chest. I was gonna get one instead, but I didn't have it up there. So I just put cheese as a placeholder. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. Stardew Valley Fair has begun. All right. Um, I will bring a truffle. I can bring milk. I can bring goat cheese. Is that good? Should this be good? This is plenty of things, yes? It's gonna be. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I have played the Story Valley board game. Yeah, I think it's really fun. It's up for pre-order right now, isn't it? So, good to know. Mm, okay. Uh, Palm, I'll be here until probably about, um, I usually stream till about noon, so I'll be here for another, like, 22 minutes. Maybe a little longer, maybe a little, I don't know, depends. I'm not sure if I care about playing most of these games right now. Oops. What is wrong with me? Oh my god, I suck. I like the little fair games. There's something kind of fun about playing them. <gasps> Oops. Oh my god, I'm trying to get them all. Cool. Oh no. Fail. You're so bad at this one. Yeah, I'm kind of bad at mini games in general. I can't really play any of the starting mini games. I can do the fishing ones, but that's it. Oops, fail. Dad, are you making fun of me because I suck at soccer? What is wrong with you? That's like actually messed up, Dad. This 
Is he lying though? No, he's not lying. It's true. I suck at soccer. I've never been good at games. I'm not athletic. <laughs> you forgot I played soccer? I played soccer till I was like six. I, I, I didn't really play soccer. Um. Oh, I want the fedora. I don't remember if I have that rare crow. Oh no. You were good? Yeah, until I got kicked in the head and then I never played again. Where are the photos? Dad, upstairs, is there still a picture of me with like the framed one of me in my little uniform? I don't know if we can show it because it's in front of the house, but we can try. If you take a picture of it, the framed one, I can show them. Okay, that's pretty good. A little bit more. Now I'll go win at the fair and then I'll have more and I'll be good. Way upstairs, bro, okay? <laughs> Dad doesn't want to take a picture of it because it's way upstairs. <laughs> Oh, Dika, I didn't even thank you for the reset. I saw you come in. I didn't thank you for the reset. Thank you for the 38 months, by the way. Oh my goodness. Do you like my Grinch display? I skip leg day. Okay, Chad. <laughs> you played soccer your whole life, but you stopped softball because you got hit in the face. Yeah, I was never good at sports. Danny, thank you for the thousand bits. My, um, my siblings were, and my parents were when they were young, but I was never a sporty. I stopped basketball because I'm 5'2". Oh, I never played basketball. I did, as a kid, I did soccer when I was like, again, six. I played t-ball. Um, I won first ranking. Thank you. Um, I did t-ball, I did ballet until like second grade. I did gymnastics very casually um, when I was like in elementary school, but I was never good at any of them. What the heck is t-ball? Oh, it's like, it's like baseball, but you're five. So instead of them pitching to you, the ball's just on a tee and then you hit it from there. Hold on. Like, here's a picture off, off Google. Like that. So. <laughs> All right. I would like my rare crow. I would like my fedora. I would like the light green rug. And believe it or not, I'd like some dried sunflowers. I got everything, perfect. It goes t-ball, machine pitch, coach pitch, and then player pitch. Yeah. I only played t-ball. So. All right, put all this away, I guess. You did horse lessons a couple times? Oh, I know someone who likes horses. Hope. Hope likes horses. Okay. It's nice that you played so many sports even though you weren't good at it. Well, yeah, I was also really young. So I don't know, I kind of just went along with it. And then I realized that I didn't like it and I was bad, so I stopped. <laughs> but I suppose it's, uh, my parents are the ones who put me in the sports, aren't they? <laughs> Okay. The baby can have that rug. I like all my little flowers. I think it's cute how I have flowers in here. Yeah, and it's also like parents put their kids in sports so that they can like have friends and activities. Oh my dad, okay, everybody. You're in luck. You are in luck. My dad has taken a picture 
of the picture for us. He, he did go all the way upstairs <laughs> to get us a photo of me playing soccer. Um, here. Ready? He went way upstairs for this, so you better like it. I was so cute, wasn't I? Isn't that adorable? I know. <laughs> Blue is my color? Thanks. <laughs> you know what else is, else is really funny about this? On this soccer team that I played on, um, my mom like knew one of the other parents from work and we had, they had like kids the same age, so they, we were on the same soccer team. Um, we went to different schools though. We get to high school, we're at the same high school, and her and I ended up being like best friends. My friend Kylie, I met her on this soccer team, but we didn't know each other until high school for real, so. But we played soccer together as kids. Anyway, I still have the same face. <laughs> it does look like me. I had, my hair was a lot lighter when I was little, obviously. Um, now it's darker brown, but anyway, that's me. That's me. Thanks, Dad. That was so brave of you to go upstairs and get the picture for us. <laughs> Okay, I was gonna finish putting all this stuff away too. It does look like me at a picture of you. Well, the person said, they were like, this is gonna sound weird, but, <laughs> but it looks like you. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> it does. Um, let me save some goat cheese, I guess. Okay. Done. Yeah, I guess some people don't look much like their baby selves, I guess. I don't know. I got the same face. <laughs> My face stayed. All right. Next day. Off we go. Um... I would have kicked your butt in soccer at six. What the heck, Hope? That, yeah, but that's like really mean. Why are you bullying me? I was six. Okay. Well, I'll kick your butt at The Sims 4 today. What do you say about that, Hope, huh? Nothing, cause it's true. Got her. <laughs> you aren't even playing it? Yeah, but I could be. What are you gonna do about that? No, I'm not athletic, I can't, I'm not. You'll beat me at any sport. Any sport. <laughs> oh, that's my dinosaur mayo. I was gonna maybe bring that, but then I didn't. Okay, um, I was gonna go check all the way up here. I think, oh, it's time. That's what I was hoping. I was gonna check on these. All right, everyone. It is time for us to make a significant amount of money off of all of this wine. <laughs> Is it finally aged? Oh, this isn't aged yet, no. My basement is full, so I can't really age it more. Um, I can make some more casks to put in grandpa's shed. So I can do that, um, but I need some more wood for that, I guess, first, but. I think my star fruit should be ready soon also. I just keep pressing it, it works the same. Yeah, I know, but I tend to miss them when I do it like that. So I have an easier time when I go through and do them individually, because then I make sure I don't miss any. I know my own limitations, <laughs> and I miss stuff when I go all the way down the line, trust me. Um. I'm running out of star fruit. Okay. 
Almost there. Just a couple more. That one, that one, that one. Okay, whole place is full. Stunning. Could definitely buy a bunch of wood. Yeah, I guess that's true. We could. Um, let me see how much I've got. Let's see what the vibes are like. I missed one? Oh god, see? Now they're all gonna yell at me. Next time, when I miss one, say where. <laughs> Somebody said top left, that's helpful. But... Oh, there it is. Just, I missed one. <laughs> Not helpful. <laughs> You never bought wood and then you did it once and it, it changed your life, really? Yeah, I um, I don't buy wood usually. 22 casks, how much wood? Seven, ooh. I guess I, I mean, we have a significant amount of money and it might be worth the investment to buy the wood from her. Uh, Dindy, thank you for the bits. It's so fine, thanks for the resub. Also, hi Kayla, are you actually close to the clown roll? If so, oh, you have 192,000 points. I was gonna say, I was like, that's really impressive because a lot of my mods aren't even close. <laughs> I believed you. <laughs> um, anyway, how many points do you have, Hope? I'd like to know how many points Dan has. 570k, 453. Well, guess what? I have infinite points. So I can get the clown roll as many times as I want. No, a million points is is a lot of points. It's it's hard to to get because he's never here. Yeah, you know, yeah, Dan's never in my streams. I'm not in his streams either. We stream at the same time, which makes it difficult. Lizzie's got 986. Dika's got 957. Oh, C 875. We're getting there. There's not that many people that have the clown discord role. It's like literally a handful of people in the discord server and I'm one of them. <laughs> All right. I don't know how much wood I need to buy from Robin. I do know while I was here, I was gonna buy, um, I wanted to get the furniture catalog for later. So I'll just buy that now. Um, How do you even get points? Just by watching the stream. You gain points while you're in the stream. Okay, this is my first time ever buying wood. Not exaggerating. First time. Do you have to be subbed? No, but you do get bonus points if you're subscribed. It has like points multipliers, so subs get more points. And if you're like a tier three sub, you get more points than that. I don't have any say in how the points are awarded, by the way. Uh, that's just kind of how it works on Twitch, so I can't control it, uh, but anyone can earn points. There's just ways to get bonus points by subscribing, basically. Um, anyway, let's make a deal. Okay, what's the deal, Kayla? Yeah, some streams have predictions and stuff, too. I have never really done predictions because it kind of throws off the points economy. If I keep my name as Kayla, can I get the role? <laughs> I mean, I guess when you think about it, if I was gonna give anyone the role, it would probably be a person named Kayla. But I also haven't given the role out to anyone that didn't earn it. So, I don't know. I don't know, Kayla. Not even Dan. No, not even Dan. Definitely not Dan. I would never give Dan a role that he didn't earn. That's so unslay of you. What is going on? What happened to us? <laughs> oh, I could put that. Oh, wait. If I do this... 
Can I access the corner? I don't really know how it works. Maybe I should do like a walkway in between. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Oops, wrong thing. I like this. I feel really rich right now. Unbreakable, what broke us? Um, I don't I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> You're putting me in a hard place, Kayla. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, that's a good number of them actually. Okay. Yeah, the channel has like less than 10 people in it. I could check how many people have the, the Discord role, but um, server settings, members. Oops, Discord's lagging, uh oh. I can't load the member list, it's like not working. There we go, I got it. Um, the clown role had, okay, it doesn't really, it's only showing me two and that's not right. <laughs> so, um, I'm confused. Anyway, there's like five people that have the role. It's really not a lot. Discord's like not wanting to load the member list, which I get, there's a lot of members. It's kind of overwhelming, but. Okay. Yay. That'll start aging then. And then from there, when you have all three, you can get the clown, right? Yeah, you have to have like all three of the roles, the first three and then clown. So it's in total, like a lot of points. Okay. I spent all the wood again. <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah, so it actually takes like 1.2 million points or something ridiculous. All right, I'm gonna go to the desert because I want to buy some more star fruit seeds, um, and then we'll figure it out. Do you guys remember how many seeds fit in the um, in the greenhouse? Is it 200? The greenhouse like above. Sorry, not the regular one, but the one above Grandpa's shed. Because I can't remember. About 200, okay. Okay. I had a lot of money and now I have no money. Six sprinklers of 24 each. Okay, I don't remember. Oh, I got way too much. We only need like 144. I guess that means it has 150 spaces, not 200 spaces. That's okay. I should have, uh, chop some of those trees, huh? I didn't really think about it. Um, Chloe, so the Discord role for people who donated, that's manual and we only do it if you give me your role or give me your Discord name and you tell us when you donated. So if you didn't tell us, let us know. Um, the mods can get you the role now, but we, if you like fill out the form correctly, then you'll have it. It's just, it's not automated. I have to do it manually. Um, so anyway, that's how it works. You're saving all these points and you were like, for what? I don't even use Discord. <laughs> I get that, I get that. It is kind of fun. But yeah, you can, if you if you uh, don't have it, you can open a ticket in the Discord and request it and we can give it to you. So if you need it. All right. I think I am gonna get off stream after this day, by the way. Um, I don't know if these are ready to be harvested yet, but I'm just gonna check. They are not. They are not, but I have my seeds for when they are. 201 seeds. All right. Kalina, thanks for the seven month resub as well. Thank you so much. Just realized it's 2 a.m. Oops, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh, that's no good. Um, let me ask Dan how his editing progress is going. Is it the last day or is it the last day? Yeah, that's the thing. 
I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Um. Oh, these strawberries are ready now. That's fun. I'm trying to slowly get all of this replaced with, um, basically I want to have the whole thing be ancient fruit, but it's sort of a mess at the moment. <laughs> so, I'm gonna play Not So Buried again. I, we're gonna do it tomorrow, Haunted. I was gonna play Sims 3 tomorrow, but now there's kids coming out. So we'll play Not So Buried tomorrow. Um, that's my plan. Cool. Playing the kits. We'll do that tomorrow, yeah. Um, good. Very, very, very good. Um, get this too. Why not? It's your birthday! Happy birthday, Patrick! That's so exciting! Um, okay. Dan is almost, this, the question is, I want to get off stream as soon as Dan is done editing because I need his help with cats. Um, but we have a little, we probably have a little bit of time. Maybe I can play an extra day after this. Um, I'm going to get rid of probably you and maybe you to put... Ancient fruit seeds. The cats need help? Well, no, but I'm gonna, we're, we're working on the introductory, introduction process um, between them and Snap, so um, we're gonna do a little uh, space trading and we're gonna let Snappy go in their room and they're gonna be out of their room. So it's a two person job. <laughs> so I need his help. Okay. Um, yeah, one to supervise each party, see? <laughs> exactly. You get it. It's actually kind of exciting. I'm looking forward to it, so. All right, I think maybe tomorrow in game then we could go to the island again. Why do cats need help? They are very small and have no money and can't read, <laughs> says Nessie. Yes, the, the cats are very small and they have no money and they can't read, so they, they need help. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> All right. Eventually this winter, we're gonna work on all this renovations. It'll be fun. It will be very, very fun. Yeah, the cats have been out of their room. They've been in the living room um, while Snappy was asleep under my bed. Um, but I want to let Snappy go into their room is kind of the key of today because that's going to help her adjust, smell them and stuff. But anyway. She's been smelling like towels and blankets and things, but I think it'll be different going in the room, <laughs> so. Okay, that's barely any wood. <laughs> if Snap had a Sims cat career, what would it be? Do you mean like one of the actual pet careers or do you mean if Snap had a job, what would it be? Because if Snap had a job, her job would be a uh, famous influencer. Cause she already is one. <laughs> Tomorrow is Marnie's birthday. You think Stardew might be, might be your next game? Oh my god, I made a lot of money just then. Okay, that's good. You should. Stardew is good. Uh, there's pet careers in like the old games. The Sims 2 had pet careers. But um, not the Sims 4, obviously. Let me say hi to my baby. Still asleep. Yeah, they could have like little cat jobs. Oh, you made me coffee. That's nice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Kalina, thank you for the seven months. And Sifo Pudding with the 39 months, by the way. Thank you so much. Cranberry money today. 
very exciting. And then what? To the island? I guess. I need to plant a melon. Um... Over there on the island. I should have some more plain sprinklers that we could bring for now. Okay, maybe I'll bring a seed maker, a couple of the melons that I have, and I don't know. One each of the gems. This is year two, yeah. Let me see. I will make a seed maker. Okay. I need gems for that quest on the island, but I forget which ones are necessary, so I'm just gonna bring like a whole bunch. <laughs> um, maybe I could eat some of these cranberries too. That might help us. Okay. Really, Sydney? I'm sorry. Hey, do you, do you at least like Stardew? Was, has it been fun for you? Maybe, I hope. <laughs> I hope. Okay, is that enough for us to go to the island then? Oh, I'm forgetting a couple things. I had, I think I had shoved all my island stuff in here. Okay, that'll be good. Julia, thanks for the 29 month resub as well. Thank you so much. You're on fall year two and nowhere near this far along. Yeah, Jackson, I don't, don't uh, beat yourself up over it. I've played this game a lot. Oh, they just announced the Dreamlight Valley update. Oh my God, let's see it. Disney Dreamlight Valley Twitter. Exciting, very, very exciting. Look. Happy one year anniversary. Celebrate with us by getting your valleys ready to welcome two new special guests later this month. Belle and Beast join Disney Dreamlight Valley in our upcoming Enchanted Adventure update. Oh my goodness. That is really exciting. I've been waiting for Belle, so I'm looking forward to that. We'll definitely play that when it comes out. That'll be fun. That will be very, very fun. Okay. Um... Is there any other? Nah, I was gonna see if I wanted to buy some more seeds, but never mind. The Sims do anything for the Sims didn't do anything for the Sims birthday. Yeah, I mean a one year birthday, I guess, is a bigger deal than a nine year birthday. But the Sims doesn't usually do things for their Sims four anniversary. So, is it ever going to come out to be free, or should I just buy it? I mean, they haven't said when it's gonna be free. Um. They're like probably not saying on purpose because they want you to buy it before it goes free. Um, but at some point this year, could be the end of the year, you know. A hot tub for the 10 year anniversary, could you imagine? Yeah, no, but anyway, they, they haven't said when it's gonna be free yet. So. It is free on Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, Game Pass is different though. Um, you have to buy the game if you don't have Game Pass, obviously. And it's gonna be, like when we say the game's gonna be free, we mean like it's literally gonna be like, the game is gonna be free to play eventually for everyone, not just Game Pass people. Um, I like this being kinda, those are fun colors. Oh, I j <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Um, embarrassing. What game? They're talking about Disney Dreamlight Valley at the moment. Okay. I'm gonna put all these little gems. I guess, well, hold on. I have this chest full of like things. We can keep them all in one chest for now. All right. Cute. That is one melon seed. <laughs> I need more than that. Okay. 
Last two. One thing about me, I can always wait for a sale. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Totally understand the desire to wait for the game to go free. It just sucks because there's no like word on when Dream Night Valley is going to be free. So we're all kind of just like guessing, which is annoying. But woke up from a very mediocre nap. Oh no, Tilly, I'm sorry. That stinks. Okay, I need to get two. I need, I need two. It's very important. Very, very, very important. Oh, oh, it's three, that's fine. Should I plant them all the way? Maybe I just will fill the whole thing. I guess that's fine. That's exactly the number of seeds I needed, so. Um. One, two, three. Yay, okay. Okay, never forget a full thank you for the 27 months. And Julia, thank you for the 29 months too. Yeah, naps, I'm, I'm not a nap person. I swear, every time I take a nap, I end up feeling worse. It like, it's not good for me. <laughs> it's really, really, really not good for me. Um, um, I'm gonna look up, hold on. Not to look up all the walnut locations, but I kind of am curious to see. I want to find the placement of those gems. Because... I don't remember how to get them. It doesn't matter. We can do it later. Anyway, I always feel worse after I nap. Every time. I always feel like sick after I nap, which is bad. I don't know, I wake up and I, like, f everything feels like it hurts and I just can't do it. I'm a go to bed early kind of person and stick it out and then go to bed at like 8 p.m. if I'm tired. Cause I always just feel worse. Wake up feeling much better or you wake up feeling horrible? Yeah. Yeah, I wake up like shaky and kind of dizzy from naps too. I'm, I mean, it's nice to know that we all feel the same way. <laughs> I'm just, I've never been uh, a person who can nap though. Okay. What the heck? Oh, I thought my sister was asking if she, uh, taking a nap. I, she texted NSAP <laughs> and I thought she was saying something about naps. I was like, that's so weird. No, she meant snap, the cat. Nothing to do with naps. Everything to do with cats. She said, how is Snap? Sorry. <laughs> that was weird. All right. Another walnut. That's three. It's kind of weak. It's okay. Um, I'm trying to think. I guess we need to try and find more of the like artifacts and stuff, right? Which I haven't really done yet. Maybe I'll fish in here. That might be nice. Cause you can fish up walnuts, so. That's, I'm, I mean, Sufei, I'm, I'm glad that napping works for you. It's funny how different it is for different people, right? Oh yeah, uh, I have I have the um, the melons planted for the frog in the cave. He wants the melons first and then wheat, so I got the melons planted. Anyway, and we'll snap meet the newbies. We've we're, we've been working on slow introductions to Dark Audit for the last like couple weeks, um, sort of last week really mainly. The kittens moved downstairs into a room um, that is nearby where Snap's food is. So we've been practicing uh, feeding the cats next to each other through a door, which is good. Um, associating, you know, positive sense with food. <laughs> um, so we've been, we've been doing that. Snap is very well, very well aware they're in there. Um, she's also seen them through like the glass door because the door has the room has like a door into the patio, so she's seen them from the patio. Um, 
she's kind of scared of them. And today we're gonna do some little uh, space trading. Um, so we're gonna let Snappy go into the kittens room and the kittens are gonna come out. Um, so that way she can see and smell and stuff in their room. Just help them get used to it. And then slowly in the next few days we can start introducing in person. She's been like, we've been giving her blankets and towels that have their smell on them too, but. Slowly but surely. Trying to do it the best way possible to make it easier for them, so. Um, that's the goal. But soon. Soon. I think Snappy's a little bit nervous, which is making me feel nervous, <laughs> so. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Do you guys wanna help me go try and do the music one? Should we try and do it together in that little cave? Okay. We can do this together. Hope it's on you, okay? Because I um, get scared. <laughs> I hate the music one. All right, everybody focus, focus. One, two. I can do that. One, oh, I did it wrong. Oh my god. I sorry. One, two, three. I wasn't paying attention. Was it this one? No. Okay. Okay. I wasn't looking. I need to look instead of looking at chat. One, two, three. Okay, first one's easy. Shh. Green. Yeah, I'm good with patterns too when it's not under pressure like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay. Focus. Pink, pink. Pink, pink. Blue. You say. Her ah! Okay, let's try again. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. That one's easy. These ones are easy right now. <laughs> this one. I need this one. Purple. Blue. Blue. Red. Purple. Yellow. Oh my god. Okay. clip it and we can go back and watch it. Should we clip it and go back and watch it? You got a mod to make it go slower. I hate this. It's too much pressure when I'm streaming. I get nervous. Yeah, I get nervous in Simon Says and Among Us. Usually film it with your phone to see. Okay, has anybody clipped it? Can we? I can clip it if not. Let me grab. Actually, can someone else do it? <laughs> Marissa, can you go back and clip it? <laughs> I'm stressed. I don't wanna. Thank you. 
You've literally never clipped. I don't clip my own streams either. You film it on your phone and you still get it wrong. <laughs> it's not horrible. It really is just terrible. Well, it takes you at least four tries to clip something. Tilly, can I ask why that is? Why do the, why do the, huh. I like clipping. I just don't like clipping my own stream when I'm live, I think is the problem. Keep choosing the wrong times. Oh, I see. I see. Only done accidental clipping. Oh yeah, I've done the same thing before too. You don't know how to clip? Don't worry about it. You don't need to. You have on accident because you didn't know the button was going to do that. <laughs> okay, this person says green, red, purple, purple, yellow, red, blue. Should I trust them? Green, red, purple, purple, yellow, red, blue. <gasps> yes! Thank you. Genius. Magical person. You were amazing. Thank you. <laughs> that was from 4K in the chat. <laughs> I was just sat there like, I don't know what to do, besties, so I appreciate you looking. <laughs> and we're just gonna clip. There we go. We did it. We got in. Sorry, slimes. I'm killing you. That's mean. Listen, I was trying. No, you got it. You did good. You did good. I need to go back home, because if I wake up on the island next time, it's gonna scare me, so. I'll go back. I shall go back. We're playing in the expanded mod right now, Georgia. Um, this part is not part of the mod. This part is from um, the regular game, but we are playing with the expanded mod. Danny gives it a sub to them. Thank you, Danny. That was very kind of you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, back home. Back home. All right. Now we can go to bed, put all our things away. It's all gonna be very peaceful and calm. Life is good. I might, while I'm here, grab some of these. I don't really have a need for them, but like, what if I want a bunch of crabs later? What then, you know? Have you never seen it with that area? You have to unlock the island after you finish the community center. Um, you're able to go from the community center to the, oh God. You can f repair Willie's boat and then he can take you. That movie was so much fun. Thanks for inviting me again, Clint. Uh, sure, Emily. I get so sleepy after watching movies, don't you? It feels weird to come outside in the dark. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> or, Emily, any chance I could come inside? Well, I was just gonna head straight to bed, so I don't think I'm up for hanging out too much tonight. We can get together tomorrow night instead. I wanted to... to talk to you? <sighs> Is something wrong? Emily, remember when we went to the Grampleton Carnival? Oh, this is making me cringe. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, of course. It was really nice of you to win me that toy. You didn't give up, even though it took about 100 tries. Oh. Clint just kind of gives me the ick. Oh. Ugh. Emily, haven't you noticed that I wouldn't try that hard to win a toy for most people? Ugh. I know, you're really sweet to your friends. <laughs> no, no, that's not what I'm saying. This makes me really uncomfortable. Then what are you saying? Oh, Emily. I was wondering if we could go to a movie again, but not as friends, as more than friends, as a date. She jumped in terror! Oh god. Oh, Clint, I don't want you to get the wrong idea, but I don't think about you that way! 
You're a good friend to me, but I'm not interested in having more than that. I hope that's all right. It is all right, Emily. It is all right. This is horrible. I hate this is so, I'm so uncomfortable. I'm so uncomfortable. He said, I think I should go. Do you still want to see another movie sometime as friends? If he says no. Oh. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, okay, good night then. This is so awkward. I have so much like... <sighs> wow. Hi, Clint. I guess that's really it. Oh my god, I was in the bush! I was in the bush! What is wrong? <laughs> Why? That's horrible! Oh, <laughs> this face crazy that you were the sub, by the way. Well, good thing that's over. Um, okay. Oh, I don't want to be creepy. I don't like being creepy. <laughs> Okay, let's head this way. Back home. And here I am complaining about him being creepy. I know, I'm sat here being like, oh, Clint, I'm hiding in a bush watching that whole interaction unfold. Okay, well, let me start putting all these things away. Let's see what we got. We actually got a decent amount of stuff today. Um, anything there? Anything there? I do have some more fishies that I want to keep. But... My chest is kind of full. I guess I might need another fishy chest. Um... Maybe I could put all the fishies in one and the crab pot things in another. And I could keep the fishies in here with like the other creature related items. I just need more chests. Next time we play, I'll have to build some more chests. That's probably the way. But I can put my fishies in there. Because I have a couple of these too. Um, get rid of the gold one maybe. Yeah. Getting off stream soon. Yeah, Dana, I usually get off stream around noon. It's like 12.30 now, so I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna head out after I finish this day in game. I just wanted to finish the day first, I think. That was my plan. Today's been fun though. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. I, I like really needed this. It's been really nice. And then tomorrow, um, we'll play some Sims tomorrow because the new kits come out so we can play with them. Um, I think we'll play Not So Berry. I'll probably like look at the kits, maybe give my Sims some new outfits and like redo a bedroom and then we'll play Not So Berry um, tomorrow with the kit stuff, I think is my plan. Okay. Go away. Go away. Just go away. Alright, let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. I don't know why I'm checking the fortune. <laughs> we don't need to do that. Oh, the cat's in the bed! Aww. And Speaking of cats, I have cats to go see and play with, so. Dan is done editing, yes. <laughs> I got cast to go see. So have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you all tomorrow. Um, we'll play some Sims and I'll, I'll keep you posted on, on our slow cat introductions. Um, Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, that's new. I don't... 
my game's gonna crash. I've never had this happen before. Hmm. And we might lose this last day of progress then. Huh. I don't know if it finished saving. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess on that note, I'll go find someone to raid. <laughs> That's super weird, okay. Baby Simi, thank you for the sub. And Thompson, thank you for the, for the sub gift. Thanks everybody. Okay, let me go and see who all is live. Um, I think, you know, my dear friend Jesse, uh, my friend Plumbella is live playing The Sims today. It might be fun to go over and say hi to her because um, Jessie doesn't stream very often. So when she gets to, it might be fun to go and see. Uh, I think she's playing some Sims, which will be fun to go over. Um, so if you haven't seen my friend Plumbella, you're in for a treat. <laughs> um, we'll go say hi to her. Um, and then I shall catch you all tomorrow. We'll play some Sims tomorrow. Okay, have a great rest of your evening, day, whatever, Wednesday, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye everyone. Bye.